<laughs> I don't have an intro for this one. <laughs> like, like, fuck it, cancel it. I don't have. I don't have, I don't have a good intro. The show's off on a horrible no. note. It's just. All right. Oh wait, no, there we go. Yeah, no, no, no. We'll we'll face it. We'll face we'll face this uh, stream head on. We'll we'll face our fears. We'll face the trail together as a trio. Hello, Charky. Hello, Johnny. Hey, Cass. Hello. Uh, this is welcome to uh, the Bad Game Hall of Fame. Welcome to Unearthed Trail of Ibn Battuta, uh, which I I think I've called erroneously called Trial of Ibn Battuta. I think I even miswrote it when I was putting the poll together. I think I may have even fucked it up on a bad game birthday celebrating the game once. Uh, it's just one of those <laughs> titles that I'm just never going to get right. Uh, it, it, like a Bal in Wonderworld situation. Yes, precisely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, thank you, one and all, for coming. Welcome to this uh, to this stream. Welcome to episode one. Uh, it's gonna we're gonna finish it in one episode, but this is episode yes. one of On Earth Trail of Ibn Battuta. Uh, there's no episode two or three or any well, other episodes not yet. for that not matter. Yet. Well, you know, it's not been uh, ten years, <laughs> so I think if they were gonna do that. Uh, that's the thing hey, about this game. Twin Peaks of Return. That took uh, yeah. that took like twenty years. So. That's a really good point. That's yeah. right, so wait for 20 more years, and then we'll finally get the uh, conclusion we've been waiting for from a Semaphore Interactive and uh, publisher Seminor International, which is just the parent company of Semaphore. So uh, this was released May 29th, 2013 uh, in Europe. I have it noted here on the PlayStation 3 via the PlayStation Network. Uh, and then a worldwide release on January 3rd, 2014, across platforms, uh, the likes of Windows, Android and iOS, and of course, the Ouya, how could we forget? Uh, we should note that this uh, 2014 release has a subtitle to it. It is uh, the Gold Edition, uh, wherein they uh, wanted to present some of the bug fixes and, and uh, corrections they wanted to make to the original draft of the game. Uh, didn't do much for it score-wise. This is still one of the lowest rated PlayStation games I've ever seen. Uh, sitting at 11 out of 100 on Metacritic, which granted only six critic reviews, so that's kind of skewed in a way, but uh, consumer reception ain't much higher. I can tell you that much. This one is a curio, a, a, a genuine curio. It is uh, a rare game out of Saudi Arabia. They do have a games industry. Mm -hmm. This isn't the only game or the mm -hmm. first game, uh, but it is yeah. one of you very say, few. Yeah, it's a... Uh... I think I think even for the bad game Hall of Fame, it is uncharted territory for us to play a game. <laughs> Clever. Right, what, what, I see what you did there. What? I don't get it. <laughs> well, you'll get it soon enough. The audience will get it soon enough. They'll see what we're in for. Uh, I should mention uh, that Semaphore Games. This is their one and only game, uh, that, as far as I'm aware. I, they've announced like five or six games, including squeakwolves to this. A uh, full-on reboot of this game, and just I don't think anything they've ever announced has ever materialized past this. And why would it when the reception to this game was, was so vitriolic, was so bad, it was so unfathomably negative, why would they continue to sink money into this? But the company's still around, working on something. That should be noted that uh, Seminor, the parent company, is an e-learning and training company. They, they produce training modules. Uh, online courses for people seeking certification and jobs. And so uh, if I'm to understand and to parse and to use my context clues correctly here, Semaphore is probably something like a student project. It was probably the first, if not only, game that a lot of the team would have worked on. So we, we should bear that in mind as we play this thing, that this is an amateur team of developers uh, that were scrappy and, and made something happen. They, they put together a game. Uh, whether that game is good or bad is to be determined, but you can't fault them for, for committing to it and getting that first episode out, even if every other game they've announced has never come out. So. I mean, it's it's, impre it's it's understandable how long it takes, how long it would take for them to make a game when you have to, like, Type out each letter by like holding flags up in the air, and just moving around just one at a time. That's a semaphore joke. Uh, the lead of the Talking Heads would appreciate that joke. Uh, David Byrne, I believe his name is. I think that's the right reference. Is he the one who's big into semaphore? Is he the one who's big into flag stuff? I think that's right. I think he he did a no color guard. Different thing. 
similar thing. You know, that's uh, David Byrne, uh, last name spelled, left arm out, right arm down, <laughs> uh, right arm up into the corner, left arm up in the corner. Did I ever tell you that I used to know Morse code when I worked at a uh, children's museum and that I forgot it? I forgot all of it. I forgot all of the alphabet for that. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're stalling because this game is very short. And yeah. we got to get an episode up to at least two hours. Uh, so no, we don't. <laughs> I suppose not. On that note, then, uh, as long as we're not uh, stalling for the sake of stalling, padding for the sake of padding here, why don't you go ahead, Sharky, and hit us with your stream snack. All right. Tonight's stream snack. Going back to the old reliable here with Farm Rich and their mozzarella sticks. Always good. I feel like I could use a little sauce to go with these, but um, I do behind the dry. scenes, I, I'm doing dry too. I feel like I could use a little sauce because they're 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 pretty dry. But um, behind the scenes, as I mentioned before, I do this show sitting on my bed. I don't want marinara sauce on my bed, so I'm gonna keep them dry. Uh, and our drink tonight is Red Bull the Winter Edition, sugar free. Iced Vanilla Berry. A fucking barf. Now, now, unless I'm wrong, unless I'm wrong, I think this might only come in sugar-free. Because uh, I, I did not see a sugar variety of it. But let's give it a taste. Mmm. Tastes like a candle. <laughs> tastes, mm. tastes exactly, exactly <laughs> like a vanilla candle. Like, if you put that thing in your mouth and it was wet, it, it would taste like this. Yeah, was, uh, then you can eat some uh, hot peppers, just like Homer Simpson and the uh, famous yeah. television show Family Guy. Hey, he was on an episode of Family Guy once, so you're not... Uh, maybe Talk, that happened. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, this, this tastes disconcertingly like a candle, uh, and that's the stream snack. <laughs> Very good. I just realized my microphone wasn't where it's supposed to be. If I was really low in the intro, I apologize. Let's, let's reposition that mic. I always forget that I have two positions for my microphone. So, uh, me, 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 me. Check it, check it, check it. Everything good? Am I audible? Am I clear? I hope so. Because yeah. <laughs> yep. it's time to cut to the 16 by 9 screen. We're going to play this one in widescreen. Uh, oh, we should probably duck out of frame. Uh, Bye. This game, can I just say, was such a pain in the ass to get up and running on modern Windows. It does a lot of funky stuff on launch, does a lot of funky stuff with the controller. Uh, I figured it out. I, I am the queen of this shit. There's no game you can keep me from playing on PC. I, I always find a way, but uh, this was a, a rough one. And uh, also, this game does another cool thing where it doesn't remember any of the settings you set for it, any of the flags you set for it in terms of, like, changing resolution, uh, changing audio levels, changing anything. It basically just resets the stock on every time you launch it, which, again, just super cool. Uh, sign of a great game. Uh, yeah, okay. Should be seeing this. Folk at home should be seeing it. That might be the most language op options I've ever seen. Yeah, no, they, they prided themselves on their international reach here, on their worldwide uh, appeal for this. I know it's tiny on the screen right now for, for, for Charky and Bag, but we will get this yes. up to a higher resolution. Oh, Sema hyphen four. Powered by Seminor. Uh, Seminor. The Unity oh. Game Engine. Now, Johnny, you mentioned that you haven't ever heard the Unity called out like that. No, no. I don't think I have either. You you generally don't have those like intro um like you know credits called out by an announcer. Like unless you're playing like Soul Calibur. Here we go. Oh yeah. Magic Meows asked, uh, was that the Peggy voice guy, the Peggy 18 guy? No, the, Pe the Peggy 18's got like an English accent. All right, at least I remembered my and, audio volume and, settings. And it's not the ES ESRB one, because that, that was like a very gruff, I remember. 
We have some options. We have some extras. Bandai, Bandai Namco presented on the Unity Engine. Journey to Mecca trailer. Well, maybe we'll check that out after the game. As well as I, the survival I assume that's mode. There. I assume that was what game they wanted to make after this. A one of many. we're working on. Uh, win the game on any difficulty level to unlock this mode. So we'll have to... Right, so fresh save then. Yeah, I don't think I've uh, finished this game ever. Uh, it's not super long, like it's I said. A, it's a... I know, it's a commitment. So you got to finish this game. All my saved progress. Well, you only live I, once. I have... I have seen this game played through before, back in the old Let's Play forum days, but I cannot remember who did it. I thought Men it was Chip Cheesum. Coffee. Men drinking coffee, they did? They did it. All right, that's who I saw then. Forever following yeah, in their footsteps. Guys. Judge Reinhold, hit me up. I miss you. The most amazing secret. In the age of exploration, I feel like I'm going to be, like, getting an advertisement for, like, some sort of rice supplement pill. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Magic Meow is resubscribed with the message, playing the original Arabic or I will unsub. Well, it was nice knowing you. Thanks for the five dollars. <laughs> now, keep an eye out for which actor are we looking for, what voice actor is claimed to be in this game. Oh. Yes, um, I find in conflicting information that claims that Troy Baker is in this game. But there seems to be some contention online. Yeah, I'm going to contend um, that he's, he's not in the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but there's a claim that he might be credited, but not be in the game. So, well, any eagle-eared viewers, if you hear the old... The, the Baker's Dozen, I believe some that's his, worth his uh, industry name, right? Or so they say. Looking at where this one got me so far, I have my own take on the subject. My name is Forrest Jawad, and now I will put an end to all this. No, don't do it. You have so much to live for. Oh, wait. Okay, I see what he's going for. Now, that goon gave up pretty quick. I, I, I'm curious. I don't know how much you know about this game's production, if anything. A little. But do you... Do you know if this was, like, a state-funded thing? If, like, this was done with a government grant? I'm just curious, because I know some... It might very uh, well be. I mean, when you look at the fact that they are an e-learning company, first and foremost, mm -hmm. that, that would tell me that they probably have, like, some government interests. Yeah, because us usually I feel like uh, a lot of... It, it, especially in this era, when this came out, that... Oh, you can do it. You can make it. That a lot of uh, games coming from countries that didn't generally have a pre-established game-making scene usually had like some sort of government grant backing it. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, you know. No, it's a good grant thing. Grants for the arts Art and all programs, that. yeah. Yeah. You think this guy would move up at some point, would change tactics? Well, I'll help him out. I can see his gun. I'm afraid of it. Oh, I knew it. Come on me! Uh, you can perform blind fire, but I am using the controller, by the way, because the mouse and keyboard is just, uh, fucking busted in this. Uh, you can perform blind fire by firing without aiming. It is not accurate, but it is useful for some tricky situations. Okay, let's try it. Oh. That's Casually. <laughs> you are definitely... That is... <laughs> Alright, you ever play a game where, like, the blind fire is like beyond useless because like no matter where you aim it is going to go every direction but where you're aiming. Yes. I've never seen a more generous blind fire than this. You were also, not aiming at him. Also, I'm trying to replicate how perfectly like parallel to the wall his gun was around the corner and that is You're going to hurt your wrist. <laughs> yeah, that is impressive. It's not letting me blind fire from this position. Which is unfortunate. He can't gonna... he can't do it with that hand. He's double jointed, but only in one wrist. <laughs> oh, what kind of gun is this? Actually, I wonder if it is because he's right-handed. See this camera switch sides. Whoa, hell yeah. Oh, that's okay. a, what's this? I know it's a scorpion, but that's is that yes. its actual name? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm going to move yeah, the chat up saying. a little bit, which means that the game is going to pause as I do this temporarily. Sorry, folks. But it's really, I want people to see how much ammo we have. You know... It'd be a travesty if no one could see the, the heads-up display in this game. Oh my god. 
Uh, you can take cover. Yeah, we did cover. We already did the cover tutorial. They already told us how to do it. It's, uh, right. They're doing this tutorial too fast. We only have so much game in here. Throw up another one. Uh, you can pause the game by pressing start. Good to know. Oh, we can do the, uh, the dash across cover thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Well, it was a good game, folks, but uh, <laughs> he's not going to be able to recover from this one. He's moving so slow, like he's injured and just kind of hobbling along, unless he needs to, like, what? run from cover to cover. Is that a tracking grenade? It yeah, sounds I think it is. Like yeah. It. yeah, but I'm looking this at is... it. It was moving towards them on the ground. Are you playing on normal or... Normal. It was super easy. <laughs> this is the medium difficulty. Oh, picked up an Uzi. Slowly limp our way over. Uh, some environment objects can be used for tactical advantage. Try shooting the flashing electricity box on the wall. Thank God he's going to stand <laughs> right next to it. <laughs> it, it. I'm assuming in reference to the... Uh, whoopsies. In reference to the um, cheek shot... Video Game King saying, looks like we know what tonight's end card is going to be. That'd be great <laughs> if we did this in real time. Yeah, if I made the end cards in real time. It's a worth it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, we, well, let's just rush it. We need to hire someone to... To do stuff make in real our time card. for us. Yeah. Make our end card. Just our end cards in real time. Like, that's that's at the point where we definitely have too much money. <laughs> yeah, where we're just burning it. We're just burning on frivolous shit. I'd also like to have an announcer who reads all the chat messages out loud to us, all the ones worth reading. Dreams. You gotta have them. Yeah. Goals. Aspirations. I, I I, put more thought into that concept than I really need to, which is to say I put any thought into that concept. Because the idea was they could have a soundboard button, like a bing bong, to say like, hey, we got a chat message, instead of... <laughs> The awkward waiting for, are they going to shut up? Are they going to shut up? I know, I know. Are they going to um, shut up? Well, I, I know the, the logical endpoint because someone's done it. Um, there's a content okay. creator, streamer. He's known for like a lot of uh, FromSoft hacking, Lance McDonald. Mm -hmm. uh, set up a stream recently where viewers could call in. And it was like hooked into like their streaming software. So that the audio was like directly coming from the phone line. I mean, we could just set up a fax machine like Rain Radio TV. <laughs> yeah. Those all sound like liability nightmares to us. <laughs> to me, <Okay>. personally. <laughs> so I do have a, a gameplay request here. Okay. Uh, getting control over is one of the hardest things. I'm trying to figure out what your like range of aiming sensitivity is. When By you're... Way, it... Yeah, because it looks very like 0 to 100 as soon as you move the stick. Yeah, it's better than the mouse, which has horrendous acceleration. Uh, going for yeah. it, so I, I wanted to. Let's check the by camera the way, Thank you for doing the spin test. Although I will need you to try that again when you're not limping around. Yeah. <laughs> Mercifully, the entire game is not uh, in limp mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it was a really uh, bold artistic choice to like have an entire game where you're injured and can only like limp and grab your shoulder. Also, if his shoulder is injured, man, that must suck. To fire a gun with your injured arm. You know what? I'm going to give the game credit for that there. That your gun didn't just clip into the vending machine. As Let's much as it might mechanically. Oh, never, well, it's oh never mind. Yeah. Showed me wrong, didn't it? Fuck you, Johnny. You <laughs> could the game. Ah, checkpoint. But still, there are, there are games coming out today that maybe, don't accommodate for that. Maybe if you pull the fire alarm, they'll all run away. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, Fugitive <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> Reoccurring theme I'm noticing recently. Yeah. <laughs> it's hybrid genre games. Uh, and same control scheme, too. Uh, not quite the same control. It's not using the A button, for one thing. But uh, kicks, punches, and blocking. I think I can manage that. All right. Virtua Fighter controls. Ooh. <laughs> Animation on this is a... Uh... Motion capture. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the motion of a mouse, maybe. <laughs> it's just... This it's mean so a bizarre, match. because... 
that kick, you're clearly, like, the animation is supposed to be moving on the ground, but you stay rigidly in the spot. It's just like you're fighting on ice, and you're doing the whoop, 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 whoop. Three Stooges style. Yeah. Don't so what camera me. control? What can, camera control do you have here? Uh, full. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah camera 3D. No up and down. Uh, it's left and right. I don't know how to get past these defenses. <laughs> Gotta stop and think about this. <laughs> I wonder how far back oh, they'll let me go. Oh, God. I love I'm that. guessing up until that gun, more or less. I love that. It happens a lot in anime, like Dragon Ball Z, especially, where, where a character's like in a monologue, they're looking this at Goku, far. and it's like, his defense okay, is perfect. No attack could ever hit him. And he's just standing uh, there doing nothing. I was close. I was close to where it is. I think you've raised him in the air and you won't go back down. I think he is technically floating right now. Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Yeah. I read floating or they're doing some sort of weird like layer priority with the enemy. I think what happened was that when he walked over that body, it rose him up in the air and he didn't come back down. Hold on, Donia. I'm going to get you out of here. Hot mic. Oh, they're trying to do... Do you know They're trying a lot in this game. That they're door wasn't even locked. Music. He's just weak. Well, I mean, he's injured. Of course. Well, it's not locked, but they had turned the handle and he... All right, I still have the upper ground here. Me. I guess I would shoot my gun. I don't know. Weird question, but... He just turns the camera. <laughs> what would you do, audience at home? And everyone's in the room is like, what? What are you... <laughs> So you guys ever played Uncharted? <laughs> yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I haven't. <laughs> you'd you'd hate it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, no, there's there's too many running towards the camera scenes for Cass. That's true. That's probably true. Yeah. I mean, it's the people who made uh, Crash Bandicoot. What do you expect? Of all the places for a car to break down, it's. <laughs> so this is Amos's temple. Yep, that's the one. 3,560 years of history in this place. You have to be careful and watch your steps in there. My steps? You mean you're not coming in with me? <laughs> of course not, Faris. For starters, you were the one who always enjoyed raiding tombs and uncharting mysteries in video games. Uh, oh, come on! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tomb raiding tombs and oh, something happens also these these subtitles are like in a hurry to go somewhere else <laughs> even even i um <laughs> passed on trying to make a tomb raider reference at the start i was like no that's too forced the quick load button doesn't work relax as your elder sister i have always been taking care of you like a baby well except for when you were terribly annoying of course but still i will be monitoring your movement inside the temple and guide your way through i will be the voice in your head and then she like vanishes like Cortana and remind me again, Donia. What am I? This lady talks how I talk, where the arms are just constantly moving. This is the final rest. If you ever hear She's someone Italian. hit a mic, if you ever hear me, yeah. hit, if you ever hear like a fud noise because I've hit my mic, that's why. As it's my hands going crazy. Construction of this. Si forty two in chat says, as your exposition sister. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a view indeed, but what's so special about it? I'm sure the grave robbers picked it clean ages ago. They picked what they thought was valuable. Almost acquired two golden daggers from one of his battles with the Hexus. He got so attached to them that he kept them. Good thing we're not seeing any visual reference for this sort of stuff. No, like, sort of flashback. We just get to exist she, in the moment. Telling like a, the character. She's <laughs> telling a story with her hands. <laughs> Painting a picture with her hands. Yeah. A necklace with three pendants in the shape of flies, made up of about. Half I can't make fun of her. This is, I use my hands as much too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you see me in VR chat. <laughs> it's true. It's going to be a major breakthrough in archaeology, and it's going to be attributed to us. I like your collective team spirit. You know, what, I'm gonna. This takes us. I'm gonna in advance say something nice. Um, they didn't have to animate someone really like talking with their hands like i think a lot of things a lot of games a lot of lower budget games would like just have them kind of standing there or maybe move between one to two poses Hell, a lot of higher budget games would do that too but they're they're active they're in invested in this conversation 
All right, I decided I don't actually want to be here. No, no dice. We do have a uh, sprint though now, and we can do our sp uh, spin test. Mm. Nah, that's uh, a fail. Man, uh, yeah. I wouldn't call it a fail. I would call it somewhat subpar. Now we can Huge run through left these pigeons, button. or I can see if they bothered. They're gonna fly away. Yeah. Okay, for the best. Wow. You gotta see this, Donya. What is it? Well, I could tell you, but I won't. Tell me. Instead, I'll move my hands around. The fountain might be the key to progress. What? Maybe if I can get the water flowing uh, somehow. Based on what? I mean, what? it's a tomb. Uh -huh. There's got to be some sort of puzzle, right? Yeah, we can't just assume the door is gonna open. I can't. Why is I all this lit? Against, find a way to unlock uh, huge gate. Well, just because the game's lit in general. Look around carefully. Super lit. Bleah. So we can press up on the D-pad to get clues uh, on the puzzles here. First of all, let me move the chat down just a ten pixels more. Yeah, just because you don't de you don't deserve the ammo count anymore, Chad. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm just <laughs> okay. Trying to balance it properly. I'm just trying to put it in the right position, the best position. Another ten pixels. I don't, also, sorry. you don't don't question. You can't start questioning like why are these like torches lit in this ancient tomb? Because then you have to ask that of every single tomb raiding game that has ever been made. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, so there's a puzzle. It's a fountain. We gotta interact with it. I mm -hmm. can't interact with it. So I'm, oh, oh, do yeah, I, I spy with my little eye? Oh, I, I can't hold it against this game too much because it is using the Uncharted archetype design. But the pet peeve of character comes in and just out loud says, maybe I should do this fin player. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Do this player. Maybe I should do this. Maybe maybe puzzle is the fin I'm saying out loud. It's... Well, you saw there there is a button for gradual hints that you could press. Oh, sure. But just the fact as soon as your character comes in just out loud is like, player, you have no agency here. Okay. I mean, we'll, we will see how it progress. Sweet. Why we'll would see it, how it deliberately <laughs> drop you there? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put this away and ah shit. Uh, we'll see how it progresses. Yeah. Like, I mean, this is literally the first room in the first puzzle. Maybe this yeah, is still yeah. like tutorials and like, all right, we got puzzles in this game, so get ready. It's just, Granted, we don't have that much time left in this game. It's yeah, just again, ready. It's, we just started know, it. But there's not much left. Yeah. Because Uncharted is such a, you know, on obvious inspiration, and it's that's so interwoven into, um, the character. I've I blank Nathan Drake, mm -hmm. but it's it's doing it's being done very mechanically here. It is just, te you know, hey, we don't need to level design a guy players. Just have the actor say what to do. Uh, the the famous principle of tell, don't show. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> As Magic Meows point out, games have only gotten worse with that. So I don't see any more pieces just lying around in there. Mm. Let's check out here. Yeah. My my first thought was when you were talking about that was um like God of War Ragnarok, which was like famously bad about that, where like you spend like ten seconds in a room and your son is just like. Maybe you turn that wheel and that thing will drop down and we can progress. And then you wait like another 10 seconds and he's like, okay, so if you turn that wheel, the thing will drop down and then you can grab onto the other thing and he like never ah. shuts up or something like that. We found it. Jump for joy. Hey. All we have to do is destroy some priceless artifacts and it's not letting me pick it up. Up oh, there we go. I mean, that, that, that is very uncharted, so. Like a true archaeologist, I destroy <laughs> priceless vases. Oh. I, w I will say, I don't, I think visually, especially because this would have been a download-only PlayStation get 3 it? title. I don't know where to go. What did the game want me to look at there? I don't understand. It, it looks fine. Visuals are not the issue with this game to me, but again, yeah. as established in our, our catalog of videos, I don't know what makes a good-looking game from a bad-looking game. I think they all I'm, look I'm great. Just, I'm just thinking for like the scale of this. You know, like this was still, this is like the early days of kind of quote full size scale projects being download only. 
Got it. And I think to... I think this was planned to come out game. on, uh, not WiiWare, but uh, on Nintendo service. They had yeah. plans to bring this game to everything, and uh, none of those plans. Yeah. Like a great uh, example, it... Amy came out about a year before this. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, remind me, you said at the top, this was PC and PlayStation Network only? Uh, don't, forget the on Xbox? Oh. don't forget the Ouya. Don't forget the Ouya. Ooh yeah. And Android Ooh, in yeah. general. Uh, oh, I do not I do not know what's going on for your jumping momentum there. It's because I was sprinting. Oh, actually I know, you know well t- it's you were like hitting the uh the like top of those awnings, so it was it looked very strange. Yeah, not the smoothest in general. Uh oh Whoa. Uh-oh. No, oh, no 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 <laughs> Whoa <laughs> I was trying I was turning the analog stick so I could go back on the platform how far back? Is it just from the start? Do we have to collect everything again? Oh no, we have uh, three in our inventory. Okay. No more fooling around. And we can't rewind. It's a PC <laughs> game. I t- three more of these pieces. We're not in RetroArch right now. <laughs> People no. think I just have the power to rewind any given game. <laughs> oh, game Kings thought we were playing Prince yeah. of Persia. Wait. Oh, f- oh, easy mistake to make. One more to go. There's no We're, such thing that's as not a how second my story chance. Ends. <laughs> All right. Fucking wouldn't it uh, suck if we were playing, you, like, Warrior Within hmm. and, like, someone redeemed stop using Rewind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gotta play this game the way I want you to play it. Oh, that's the cover button. Great. All right, where's this last one? Where, where could this last piece be? Do you think it might still be up there? Do I have to climb up this fucking thing again? I probably. If you didn't get one from up there, then it is up there. This could be worse, uh, the climbing control. Sonic Guru says, what's weird is that this would easily pass for a mobile game. Nowadays, I would say, yeah. And it was a mobile game. It came out on Android. Oh, yeah, you're right. And iOS. I mean, it's powered by Unity, so... Mm-hmm. Realize I, I won't check. Did it did um, pull away from the wall there. Was it literally the direction away from the wall? Uh, it was towards the ledge is where I was doing. Okay, I was good, holding yeah. left. There are, there are some also, games like this where you, you the direction you have to hold to do that is not the direction you'd think. Terribly uh, terrified, I said earlier. Uncharted before it actually got ported to PC. Yeah, if you were uh, not a console gamer and you wanted to play Uncharted for the longest time, this was your Uncharted. How would we get down from here anyway without breaking our legs? Uh, hmm. the Many way such you mysteries. Came? I don't know. Yeah, hopefully not the way you came. All I can think of is when you get this piece, it will like open something. I pressed up on the D-pad. Some artifacts may be located inside pots. Uh, press again to reveal the location of the next artifact. Fuck. You know what? Oh, it's why? Why do they tell us to go up? They they showed you that thing like, huh. hey, you, well, we got one go piece up here, up here you... and then when oh, we... okay, okay, fair enough. Also, that's I'm... what I that's what I asked you earlier. I said if you haven't gotten one of the pieces up here, <laughs> you know what? This is quicker anyway. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? I'm <laughs> fine with that level of like optional. Just tell me what to do. Yeah, you I have to, I appreciate you have to prompt it as an idiot and say, yeah, I want this amount of help. As a dummy, I appreciate when it's just like, all right, here you go. We need to find a way to unlock this huge gate. Yeah, yeah, no, it's to your left. There's that one. You may press. Okay, so, so you have all of the mini inventory <laughs> right now. I've got to find three more of these pieces. No, you don't. Well, you know, I still appreciate they just save them in your inventory okay, two more he remembers that progress one more to go again there, there are a lot of uh, bigger budget games of this style that would not do that do you think like the ancient people of, the of um wherever we are at the moment whatever region sub region this is well, when they were building this temple they took a look at all these mechanisms and said this is where our tax dollars went to yeah. this is what we paid for you could have gotten a key, my lord. Yeah, but this is way cooler. This would be way more cinematic. I mean, secure. 
I mean, I, I won't lie. If, if the universe uh, screwed up somehow and I ended up with disposable income, I would get a mansion built that operated like the Spencer estate for Resident Evil 1. That's the dream. Like, yes, isn't, you need to, you need that... to play Moon Moonlight Sonata to open this door. Folks, help us realize it... <laughs> our dreams. Pledge to the show. Subscribe on Twitch. <laughs> play isn't, that what isn't that what Lord British's house is like? Yes. Uh, oh, is that the... Oh, uh... Richard Garriott? Guy? Yeah, is that him? No, the Ultima. Oh, okay. Okay, close. But yeah. He's also an astronaut. Nice. Man of many talents. Mm. Well, man of a lot of money to I'm afford curious if this to become an astronaut is as how this to. should look, because this is a little... Oh, okay, now it's fine to look at. If you were in the other room, it would be very well lit. <laughs> it's funny unless you do this, but at the same time, it's realistic, because if you did clip your, your torch. torch through a wall, it, would, it wouldn't it would light the room you're in. Here we go. I pressed the, uh, the Y button. But yeah, uh, possible visual epilepsy warning on the flash in here. Good thing we got that in a timely fashion. <laughs> yeah. Well, I need it to fucking see here, so... Yeah, also, this game has a one of those dirty... You're like, your in-game camera's dirty lens. Okay, we since we talked over it... Yeah. Um, if you didn't hear that at home, without a <laughs> subtitle... Do, without a subtitle, Donnie went... Whoo! And also just name dropped Are You Afraid of the Dark, which I'm sure they had the license for. And I'm sure it was a huge hit in Saudi Arabia. I, I am always curious yeah, about when knows. when shows will like have characters reference other media. Like how if you're just allowed to do that or if there actually are I, big licensing things. Just just to say like a thing exists. Whoa. Yeah, like I mean I, I I mean I'm saying that incredulously, but I could also see like maybe some some companies are more willing to uh, go to court for that than others. Like if they said, like, uh, you know, oh, your favorite show, uh, you know, DuckTales, and Disney would be mm -hmm. like, oh, motherfuckers. No, you don't. Oh, they're still physicsing. Give them time, they'll figure it out. What was, what, wait, what animation was that? Did you try to pet it? <laughs> there, Can you pet good the good boards. Blanks? Here's a good board. Who's a good board? Uh oh. What was that sound effect for that? It was strange. It was like. Well, cocking a gun made entirely oh. of wood. I'm trying I to figure out how the physics on these things work. Oh. You gotta know where your checkpoint is? Yeah, it was just a second ago. I was hoping it would, like, physics me. I'd go swing, I'd go flying into the wall, and I would be like a, a model in G mod and would just start. But no dice, no luck. Uh oh. Not the most dangerous one of these traps I've seen. Wow, no one's gonna get past that. Yeah. Engineer's like, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> the look of it, I'm fine with. The sound, though. Okay, <laughs> Not... okay I, I no, did This one say, seemed actually really dangerous. Well, that one was that one was gonna fucking kill you. The screen shake is actually like fucking a little with the camera, camera right? which is impressive. Oh, yeah. So, I know I said earlier, don't question this stuff, because then you're going to ha have to really look back at every single Tomb Raiding game that ever existed. But, uh, I wonder how these uh, boulders are working. How many how of them they, they have. This system. And, and per per perfectly spherical as well. Oh, and perfectly just timed, so they many. ran out just as soon as I reached the top, as soon as I ascended. I wonder if you ran back down. The door's locked, though. There are uh, maybe there's a pressure plate you stood on. You know what? You just hit a checkpoint. Two unlocking mechanisms I told you about earlier? That's where they come in. You need to look for two golden daggers and use them to open this door. Two golden daggers. Got it. That shouldn't be too hard to find in this place. Or should it? Probably gonna be pretty hard. It's a very minor thing, but I Could you swear... do me a favor? Could you okay. run back yeah. down that hallway a little bit and just see if the balls come back at you? Oh! Well, well, you know what? Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer to my question, but it was a question that I didn't even know I had in Probably me. the thing I was least expecting to happen. I, it was the thing I was most expecting to happen, yeah. that they would just be hurt boxes at all times. So th it, I could, this could just be me. Oh. But I swear the subtitle font size changes between lines. 
Okay, know who's talking. I see one of the statues holding the dagger on the other side of the room. There must be a way to get across it, but it doesn't look so safe for me to climb down and look for it, though. And even if I did, I don't think I will be able to climb up again. Very presumptive of him. He didn't bring any climbing gear? We didn't bring oh, any voice we... acting for this line? <laughs> I forgot to record this one. Whoops. Well, they're, they're lip synced. Well, you know, I, I won't say synced. It may come in handy at some point. From what I've seen, as, it's just generic lip flapping. As brother and elder sister, they share a psychic link. They don't <laughs> always need to talk. It's having some fun. Whoa! Check that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, some oh, tricks. Rit, no, that's a skilled climber. All those years of Fushigi paid off. <laughs> you know what? That doesn't even make sense in terms of, like, a Fushigi joke. There's no reason why that should be a Fushigi joke, but I thought the exact same thing. Wait, why is the RC car already down there? We didn't take it out. How do we... No, it, this they left it here in the temple when they built it centuries, millennia ago. How do I control it? They did not... Maybe you gotta get closer to it? Pressing every Can button... I'm trying to remember. I, I don't remember the name of it. Does anyone remember there was a, what seemed to be the Last of Us ripoff that Sony actually tried to go after? Yeah, like on think, Switch. Um, yeah. Can't, I'm trying to think yeah, if I'll, this would I'll fit into that, that, that range. You. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm trying to think if this would was... be legally distinct enough. Yeah, I, it specifically like, picked up is... that little treasure, reminded me of it, because the, that presentation was one-to-one -one with how it for, looks first, when you find collectibles in Uncharted. Uh, uh, first of all, th that game was called The Last Hope. Ah, okay. And yeah, I would not remember se that. And secondly, uh, that was a case where it was just straight up the character model. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know it was that bad. Like, they did, I, the game itself, nothing like Last of Us, but the character was basically oh. just Ellie. With I might like be maybe of a different one game difference. Then. Uh, if you're if you're thinking a thing that's like The Last of Us, you are absolutely thinking of The Last Hope. Hmm. Oh well, even though we clearly made the jump, the door. Uh, we didn't make the jump according to the game, and then it just okay, Donnie. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. Unless there's another tr pressure plate. Okay, yeah, it must must have been this. Yeah. Well, there's no way we're making it there. Awesome camera. They're really showing off what they could do with uh oh. Hold on. Hmm. Now is this better or worse than the RC car sections in Duke Dukem Forever? Well this is moving slow as molasses, so for that I'm gonna have to take points. I'm gonna have to deduct points for that. <laughs> I'm I might be a weirdo, because I played the demo for that game. I think it's the demo that came with um some version of Borderlands and I actually did really like the RC stuff car stuff. <laughs> I never liked any of the gimmick shit in uh, in Duke Nukem. I was never a uh, I, a fan of I, all the build engines. That's, that's fair. I, I liked well, wasn't build engine. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, like in general, from like the beginning okay. of Duke. I I liked the part at the very beginning where you had the uh, the the pen and the whiteboard, and you could just draw dicks on it. Oh, I didn't draw. I, I drew a cock. <laughs> Which, say I drew, Which I is drew a big chicken. difference. How how dare no, I, I drew, besmirch I, you by? I, I drew a I drew a chicken. Oh, I see. Because I I think I was I was streaming it out for somebody. Daggers at the entrance. And like I knew the first thing anyone was going to draw was going to be a cock, so I just drew a chicken immediately and just trusted that people understood the joke. Once more, and we're just going to leave the RC car here. And when they find this temple in another thousand years, they'll be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> were you trying to were you trying to get more consistent frame rate with the camera looking down there? <laughs> yeah, I'm saving as it's yeah. one of my golden eye speed running tech tips. <laughs> oh, wow! Hey, we it worked. barely made that. Well, that's one down. Are you give me a checkpoint here. Can I? No fanfare about it, but, uh... Donia, I see a statue holding a golden dagger up above. Try to find a way to get to it. 
What are we, what are we looking at? <laughs> yeah, good, good plan. Thank you. Easy. Use your monkey skills. Oh, <laughs> uh, I want a tutorial to pop up showing your monkey skill tree and like all the points that you can put into it. What is this statue with the golden fucking that, dagger? That the big thing. Oh, no, well, it's right there. Yeah. He There's saw that the second he there. walked in the room. Oh. He, he spotted that yeah. way before any of us would. I he, No, I, I thought he, <laughs> it was the throne he was talking about. He has he has chameleon eyes. <laughs> or like a bird. So is this the worst controlling game I've ever played? No. Uh, does it control great? Also no. I would be curious for you to play Uncharted and then compare. Granted, I think you would probably say Uncharted Here. controls better. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, uh, look. There's things shooting at us. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, oh, I almost couldn't see those. Yeah, no, it was uh, by, by chance I happened to notice it. Because he didn't have a comment about it. He was... Yeah. Busy making his comment about not looking down. Yeah, I'm gonna say using locked camera here is a bit mean, because your your perspective on like well, you know well, where they line whoa. up. The camera turned as soon but as they the, landed, and it did not put me in a great position. By the way, him talking his way through all of that reminded me of something, and that's an uncharted thing. Like that's what uh, Nathan Drake does. But it reminded me. Did you ever see that? Uh demo for the remake of gothic i think i did yes i don't remember any details of it do you think i can drop down here and not die yeah <laughs> good to answer <laughs> after the fact <laughs> so you hedge your bets folks uh no in that well he's probably gonna say oh, something well. when he walks in there Would you yeah. look at that okay good in that demo for the gothic remake uh there's an early scene where it takes like, I don't know, let's say 30 to 45 seconds for him to wash up on the beach and then grab a torch. I'm losing the signal. I just saw a group of armed men enter the tomb. They're... They're what? Donia? Okay, I should probably finish quickly. Can't control during anyway, that. As, as he's doing such exciting things as getting up, brushing himself off, making sure he has a scroll in his pocket and grabbing a torch, he's narrating everything like, oh, oh man. Where's the scroll? Okay, got it. Good. All right, get a torch. Torch, here we go. Light it up. All right. Oh, boy. Shit. Uh. And it's like an entire 45 seconds of him just going, uh, uh, and narrating every single thing he does. Technically, I did all the work. This better be yeah, I, I think... Hey, your like, sister's uh, about to get gunned uh, down uh, by goons. Versions of, um... Someone's was it? The Tomb Raider reboot. The trailers were like that. So they did turn tone it down for the final game, thankfully. <laughs> Hang on, let me catch my breath. Then we can fight. I remember in, I think it was in the first Uncharted, where you're going into a tomb or temple or something, and you get through like a door or passage that no one has ever gotten through since the temple was sealed. And then when you're in there, the, the bad guys are already there. Like, you were legit the first person to get in there, and, like, the bad guys have already beat you to it somehow, <laughs> just because you need a fight. You can't have a video game without a fight. And yeah. stand still, and, yep, play that canned animation. I like your guy fights with Vonda, though. Doesn't hit enemies when they're down. Please let me step up the step. No. Someone asked if we could knock rules. them into the water, but uh, no. I can use environmental takedowns. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, that no, this really <laughs> elevated the game. This might be the most rudimentary one we've seen of this. I'll take rudimentary over fucking bust. What was that move? <laughs> <laughs> Donia, are you alright? I won't forgive the myself. Judas effect happened to her. Uh, it kind of looked like that was supposed to be an attack animation if there was an enemy behind you as well. And then just, there was no enemy behind you. Now we're talking. I need cover. I just Get saw him. He's over there. Thank God there's cover here. 
Oh, he's he's coming Slowly over. Slowly but surely. I think he's around this corner. I'm gonna check. <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting a little freaked out. Also, his head is tiny, but his neck is huge. Did you notice that? Tactical advantage. I take back what I said about the really generous <laughs> blind fire. Yeah, I think they, they must have only given you the auto aim for the first one. I'm empty, cover me. Uh, good strategy. Wait for him to yell out, I'm empty, cover me. <laughs> I was I was expecting great gun sounds, but the sound this gun makes when you shoot it is very strange. So where are they grouped up? Also, oh, can we trigger the stone trap? trap? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, now we have an AK. Oh, it, it oh. spun me around to auto-aim. I guess that's what the setting was about at the beginning of the game. Oh, it's like snap to target, just always on. Sorry, I had to sneeze there for a second. Like, this Cover is me, I gotta reload. Cover me, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> they are trying for a lot. To, to, to the enemies to even have dialogue when they're reloading and things like that. They probably shouldn't have tried so much, but they are trying a lot. They're showing so them. I don't, they sh I don't think they shouldn't have tried so much. I think this game is better for the fact that they did try. Well, you, well I mean, like, if, if the game could have been better if they just had less systems to, to work on, you know? Like, it's a bigger workload. You know, for example, like if the fighting stuff, like the pseudo fighting game mode wasn't there, for example. Trying to blind fire. I, I usually think blind fire is pretty fucking useless yeah. in video games, and this is uh, one of said games. Yeah, it, it looks like it's not based on where you're looking. It's like a solid, no, just where the gun's pointed is where it fires. What was that reload animation? We didn't eject a magazine or put a new magazine in. You kind of <laughs> just gestured. At the gun, and the gun obeyed. Oh, that's that's very uh, PlayStation 2 core. A lot of third-person shooters, at the time, they would do the reload animation, but no clip would come out, so they're just miming it. I, not worth it. <laughs> also, why are there right. so many different types of gun in this? I've seen a G36, I've seen an AK-47. We have this MP5 on us now. It, it was bring your gun to work day for these guys. <laughs> And that sounded like a different gun, so let's see what he was using. Oh, a shotgun, a spas 12, or some others type. Alright, which room was this again? This was the uh the room with all the the bottomless yeah. pits. I mean this is this is doing uncharted like it's so on the nose doing uncharted that the reason might literally be yeah. well uncharted had all these guns. Might be. We want to be parallel with that feature set, so just but all these guns Modular. are mechanically identical. <laughs> Keep putting them in! Now see, this is a room where they should be ambushing you, because you're... you'd be fucked. Also... Our guy here... Why didn't you come in with a flashlight? Yeah, that anything? seems like a basic kit. We it, got our RC car. Cause we brought our toys with us, but not our flashlight. Because it's daytime. <laughs> <laughs> not indoors it is. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's still daytime inside. It's just you wouldn't know it to look at it. Intense music for this sequence. He, he thought they had their electricity on. They have some <laughs> lights powered. Okay, what gun sound is that, actually? Because that's... Uh-oh. Oh. Duck and cover. Dive. <laughs> I was going to get very British there and say that, that that was a dive there. That's a yellow card. <laughs> Horrendous dive. <laughs> it didn't look like you died. It just looked like you'd... I'm just going to flop over. They'll, they won't notice. I mean, I do like games that try to have that mechanic. Just, it never works. There. So I'm sure if I'd ask, is that the... Sh but yeah, is that the Shadow of the Hedgehog menu gunshot sound? <laughs> You know what? Let's see if I can find out. I do gotta say, this is, uh, for as far as action set pieces and temple escapes and Indiana Jones inspired things go, uh, this one's not particularly great. 
I mean, I, this part right here, this specific room, like, you know, sucks. Kills the pacing. Okay. Cass, can you shoot the shotgun for me again? Yes. It's definitely not a shotgun blast. I don't care if it's a slug or buckshot or whatever. But... I believe the chat is 100% right. Terribly terrified. I'm pretty sure that is the same sound effect. Yes. Same stock ass sound effect. Which, like, that doesn't bother me, but that's definitely not a shotgun. I feel like that would typically be used for, like, a, a Magnum or a Desert Eagle or something. By the way, I, I haven't done this in a while, but uh, I looked up the speedrun times for this game. Yeah, it's like, Arm of Steel there, by the way. <laughs> nope. uh, uh, anyway, world record for uh, Unearthed Trial of Imbatuda is... 19 minutes and 58 seconds. Oh, nice. Requesting backup. I, I haven't done it yet, but some of those speed runs of like these kind of games where you can do them in less than 30 minutes, it's it's always been tempting. Yeah. That, that's the kind of speed run I like, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to get real good at uh, Westerado for a while because that's like a five-ish minute run. I, I know you were using the, the shotgun there, but that... That really just showed this might be the worst blind fire I've ever seen in a game. It's not great. The first one was so good, and yeah, it surely must have been scripted to be like, yeah, yeah. If just we didn't this do this, they would never get past. Yeah, this which part. is that's a bad lesson to teach the player. It switched into aiming mode. Yeah, I just yeah, I didn't I'll press a button to do this. It, in fact, I'm not holding a button right now to do this. See if there's yeah, stealth takedown. Do it. Oh, it is a stealth section, because I'm not controlling this either. Press X to kiss your wife. All right. Oh, yeah. I won't lie, I do like that in Shadow Mordor. It's very silly, but I think that's why I like it so much. No sign of movement, stay sharp. <laughs> they should have kept the mechanic for the rest of the game, for the orcs, and that's how you, like, get them into your uh, oh, thrall. Oh, yeah. They should put it in Shadow War. He must be real yeah. close. Watch your back. He must be real close. They have. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can still stealth him though. <laughs> yeah. Still didn't see it coming. Never <laughs> saw it coming. It's just like Enter the Matrix, my beloved. Hey, what's behind you? Oh. <laughs> I was worried that was going to be a just a random instant failure stealth flip bit, so I'm glad it wasn't. Oh, all the way up there? I could probably hit that. How guy. is that guy not hitting you? He has, he has such an obvious line of sight. <laughs> and you don't have a line of sight, but you <laughs> were able to hit. Yeah, the gun, where the gun aligns, what I've been trying to show is that where the gun yeah. aligns versus where it shoots. <gasps> Video Game King asks, why is there a stealth section here? This is Uncharted. Maybe this is secretly based oh. on... Oh, come this on. Is on. This is based on the Wanted video game. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I actually need to... I, mean, I won't lie. I did play the demo for that one, and it was it was kind of fun. Uh, You played the best level in it. <laughs> you played the demo for it. Ah, well, there you go. I actually streamed through that entire game in the Discord a while back. That's uh, true. You did. It's fun enough. But, uh, drags in places. Alright, who's left? Don't know if it's a stream game or not, to be honest. Also, as long as you hit, a, hit him with a link to the Discord server, which I thank you for. Uh, folks, mm -hmm. consider if you like what you see, if you enjoy these streams, subscribing on the old Twitch, or uh, pledging to us on Patreon, or even becoming a member on YouTube, and gaining access access to the Patreon Saints channel on our Discord server, where you can vote on games. Did we mention this was a this was a patron, a patron voted game? Mm -hmm. This is a game we're playing because people voted on it. I think I feel like we should probably led with that. If I was yeah. good at my job, <laughs> I would have probably noted that uh, earlier, but uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Fuck this. Whew, finally made it. Where's Donia? Where do you think, doofus? Did she hide inside the car, maybe? Well, hope not. <laughs> so, you have an accomplice on the outside. That explains a lot of things. Who are you? 
That is none of your concern. Oh, I want his gun. Definitely saved us the trouble of solving all those. Let me get rid of this thing and get so, my uh, more powerful <laughs> gun out. After all, those super difficult puzzles. The box. Here you go. Now that's some some <sighs> really intense vocal fry. That whoa. <laughs> I was I was kind of hoping there was gonna be a live grenade. I, I, I love these uh you know these are video game cutscenes, but they're cut like bad movies where they have to hide that actors can't fight and they have to swap between the stunts doubles because <laughs> it cut from you lying on top of him to like the two of you next to each other on the ground <laughs> i love this tekken stage it's it's like the game combat a movie. i love his little steppy steps as he moves yeah. backwards i'm looking at his, i'm looking at his head kind of going like, um no no please fall off Oh, come uh, on! I want to see if I can push him a little closer. Come on. I feel like this game could have used a parry system. <laughs> yeah. So, um, could use mechanics for this, uh, for the fighting parts. It's a minor thing, but... It, when you do punches and kicks, does the direction you're holding the stick change the type no. of punch and kick you do? No, okay. no, not at all. It's just that you have two punches. It alternates between them. Ah, uh, okay. You have two kicks. It alternates between those. Oh, it's a uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Game Boy rules. Weird deep cut, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, I'll save it. You should have accepted my offer while you had the chance. Drop it. Careful, <laughs> please. Don't, don't have the gun ready. You might get hurt. <laughs> wow. There you go. <laughs> no worries, big guy. See, I'm with her. I mean, she's with me. Come on, Dania. Let's get out of here. Where'd you get the that bike from, a... anyway? That is a or the insane looking bike. <laughs> <laughs> a seamless cutscene. That was that was very yeah. smooth. All that. She's a cool lady, but uh, you know, screw our guy oh, for yeah. being like, no, she's with me. I can't admit that she's the <laughs> she's better than me. Check another uh, tick off on the old checklist. Yeah, we are not driving. We're just the. Uh... Oh, this oh, boy. is good. Oh, I like that firing stance. He's a threat too, get him. I wanna go behind the back again. Casual style. We're, uh, we're accelerating, I'm helping. You. Yeah, why bother having him turn around? Why move the character model around when you can just have the arm bend backwards? Like this. That saves you so much time. Yeah. That, that makes me think of GTA San Andres where if you're Aim behind you, CJ would just point his gun straight up in the air. He needs to keep his eyes on the road. This is as fast as it turns, by the way, as fast I, as the camera turns. They they did it they did account for your sister's head though. He look, he goes over the head when he's aiming. I mean okay, she, he's not looking out for her hearing. But at least he's not clipping through her. <laughs> Well, we have to have a helicopter firefight at God, some point. Bullets won't take it down. Shoot the tower. Oh. It, I think no, this is slow motion. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's to simulate uh, his um, the fact that he doesn't want to shoot the tower. That he's emotionally attached to it. That's why they made it so hard. That was close. Complete the third oh, chapter of the game. I just got an achievement for that. Yes, we got there, but some guy beat us to it. Don't Where'd he go? I don't know. I had the cap on the lens. <laughs> Forget about it. My men will get them by the hour. Forget about it. But this better be good. Call out the rest of the men. 
Tell them we will move to Morocco right away. I will hunt them in every corner of the world. I will flip every rock in every desert. And when I find them, they will beg me for death. You haven't seen the last of me, you two. I swear. I love how nonplussed all of his goons are. Be so <laughs> Who is this speech for? Right, guys? Right? Right? Yeah, you ain't listening. I'm proud of you. I did good? Did you even see the fear in that guy's eyes? I bet they were even too afraid to follow us. And... We have good mobile coverage here? Wow. Hello, this is far. Pothole averted. Hello, Faris. My name is Rashid Al Kalabi. I would have hung up if that was a delay. I would expect that would be like a bot call if he left me hanging for that long. Yeah. Are you my friend? Hello. Please stay on the line for a very important message. For a very interesting proposition. That dude spilled ink all over that page. I don't know. Yeah. If and that. credits. <laughs> that was strange. Now, Not yet. Welcome to Morocco, my friends. I'm glad you could make it. We're glad we're here. I know I can't resist Moroccan tea. <laughs> well then, you've definitely come to the right place. You don't say. By my friend Akram's cafe on the way to my apartment. They don't actually serve Moroccan tea in Morocco. No. Thank you for your kindness, Mr. Rashid. I couldn't stop thinking about what you mentioned on the phone. I'm a timeshare, I mean. <laughs> I was as surprised as you are, even doubtful, I may add. That is, until I found the irrefutable evidence. Uh, come on, let's discuss this on the way. Please, uh, follow me. Do you think they serve Mexican pizza in Mexico? God, I wish. I know Uncharted has these sections where you just walk and talk. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of the cat I had in my childhood. Oh, there's a cat? All right. I'm not yeah. going to wait for you all day. Move on already. No, I, I can't. I want to pet the cat. It's a very cool cat. It's a very calm yeah. cat. Unless you step on its tail and everything. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to buy whatever you're uh, selling. Fruits. Uh, bananas. I see a bana some bananas. I see... They must be running uh, out of stock for the day. They must sell a lot. I see lime textures. I think. I'll say that that was very realistic cat behavior to not put any effort to not have their tail stepped on. <laughs> that that much is true. Well, you look lower model, lower uh, poly than count than the rest of everyone here. So, <laughs> hey, hey, guy, you want to buy a truck? All right, see ya. What's inside of here? Moroccan tea, Moroccan uh, tea, Moroccan tea. Really tea. This time, of year. <laughs> it gets even better. Usually later this month. I, I wonder what the choice there was like, okay, we're going to open these doors, but we're not going to let the player go into these areas. Can't sprint but either we... for what it's worth. <laughs> like, why didn't you just close the doors? Well, they're trying, to, they're really... trying to cool off. They need a cool breeze coming in. Very ominously quiet outside today. Yeah, we're just walking to a busy marketplace. Like, and... is it, <laughs> yeah. Isn't Morocco usually like a busy town? <laughs> Oh, they have a little bit of crowd noise here. Keyword, little bit. Looks real yeah. Uh, you know... You... <gasps> oh. Another cat! <laughs> Fucked up little hands. <laughs> up. Look at those Look. arms. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Not great. It's a good oh, thing that yeah. the, the folk ahead of us are waiting on us, though. Every time I do my no, little they, dilly they know. Yeah. They, know I... they know you saw a cat. I'd be so bad. i just give the cat all the shawarma. <laughs> That's why you're not a, uh, you that's why you don't work at a delicatessen. Arab explorer. Ooh, look at them, look at them glide. Throughout the Middle Ages. <laughs> look at this actual explanation of what Ibn Battuta means. It's a, it's a guy. Slave to a king and then to a prisoner. As soon as it looks, that probably means that they designed his walking animation and then realized it was slower than yours. Journey. And someone said, fuck it, just just make him move faster. Even Batuta wasn't a writer. Luis's cat has reacted to that cat that was meowing for the shawarma. Aww. <laughs> Xbox, turn off! Just in case someone's still watching on their Xbox. <laughs> and has a connect somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that it took two years to write it. True. 
The book eventually got translated into many languages, and it's available in bookstores today. For the price of nineteen ninety nine, get it, folks, at Barnes and Noble. Retail. Just gonna pop up an Amazon link. Of Ibn Battuta's trip was to perform pilgrimage to Mecca, and indeed, he managed to do it three times during his travels. I think I read once that the Sinbad stories were based on. No, don't get it! Don't get it! Oh, look out! It's coming right for you. Surprised? It's just, it's not a fair comparison at all. Uh, but I, were, you, my... were you hoping? Were you yes. hoping? Is how I was hoping. Well, now he's just giving it, up. It, all right, what's not a fair comparison? Um, the the crowded city scenes that are in like Uncharted two and three. I think three was mostly where they started doing that. What's the one that Mega Sixty Four specifically made fun of? Yeah, that's Uncharted Three, where Nathan's uh, drugged and he's like tripping out, running through streets, muttering to himself, and like running into people. In the days. And then there's the one in Uncharted Two that was directly inspired by the graveyard. Tale of Tales is the graveyard. And they closed it down. In the little village set piece, I know that much. The rest of these shops, it's... Check out our article on the graveyard, folks. BadGameHallOfFame.com slash the dash graveyard. And see how it directly influenced the design of Uncharted. The smell of tea is getting stronger. Paris, are you even paying attention? Well, no. The answer is no. We're not paying attention. <laughs> Have a seat, please. On me, I'm just wandering off. That's the wall, right? Those two? No? I always get it wrong when I think, like, where are the invisible walls in this game? I'm always just, like, a little bit off. Oh, I'm a way bit off on this one. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm surprised they let you down this side path at all. Because it's very low poly over here. <laughs> oh. oh. And so he walked away from this life of adventuring. <laughs> hmm. I will have uh, green tea, please. It acts as Moroccan green tea. Especially useful for someone at my age. I heard it helps reduce weight, too. You might want to try it out, Dania. Ha ha. Fatty. And I will have the, the brother and sister. The teasing is three spoons of white sugar. On second thought, make them brown. Just one cappuccino for me, please. I thought you wanted the Moroccan tea. That was your whole thing. What? I may occasionally have a change of heart. Don't listen to me when I talk to you. That's <laughs> creepy. So you were You're a video game. Now listen to me carefully. Both hey, at least at least Steve I came committed as well. Set of documents while looking through my family's heirlooms. They are the diaries of Ibn Juze himself. What got omitted from the book were details that will lead to something dark, cursed, and valuable. That order. Go on. Some are willing to die for it. That's us. We'll happily kill. Well, what then, am I? Oh, this is a riddle. Count <laughs> us in, he says, after the killing line. <laughs> I wanted to hear from you, young man. Let's I mean, that would definitely be like a Nathan Drake thing. Like, uh, I get to kill people, count me in. Sold. I'm not going to wait for you all day. Move on already. Barely got to enjoy my tea, or coffee, or whatever it was we ordered, ultimately. Cappuccino. All right, let's go back. Seconds, please. What do you think is going on in this room? What, do you, what conversation do you think is happening here? Uh, talking about what the, when they're going to put out the next King of Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was think I was thinking of some uh video SNK game joke, but yeah, I, I SNK joke there. That's the top one. Quite honestly, that's the reason I contacted you and no one. Strange, is that strange world we live in. Precedes you. You two work as a team and have the qualities. Listen, for the next Royal Rumble, we want sixty people in. <laughs> passion and persistence. God damn it. They're going to do the WCW World War III match with the three rings and... I think that was... God, was that 60 or was that more than 60? I think it was 60. I can assure you, sir, money is the 20 people per ring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, Donia, but I sure have a lot of things I want to buy. You're welcome to give me your share, though. Here, cat. Yep. No, I think it's... I think it's baby. Oh, it's a baby. Never mind. Yeah, never baby mind. cat? A kitten? Shrouded in darkness, There's mystery baby. There. There's no baby in there. It must be oh, the mother making yeah. noises. That, no, cover. it's oh, it's part of like a bank heist, and it's just a tape uh, recorded. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I want to see this guy take photos. Wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice pose. Nice pose. 
Curveball, he's I taking like these photos without pressing the button on it. See, this I is like gone some of those real. I like some of those real nonchalant pictures he takes, where he just yeah. like turns to the side and goes like, "Ick." All well, right, got see, it. this is world building. The lady's got fake, you know, pram. There's no baby in it. This guy's casing the joint. Yeah. Pretending to be a tourist taking photos. I'm with Bag on this one. I'm with Johnny. I, I think that's what's going on there. Those characters will definitely come into play later. Trail of even Batuta 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they already have all nine games charted out. Safely hidden in my as co written by Yu Suzuki. I'm sure I that, that is a fun fact slime, but I'm not sure if I should read that. Yep, not reading that one. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. There, I see someone near the balcony. Huh? Hold it right there! Wait, what happened? Why are we doing this? What was? Looks it. Bloodlust, come back. Okay, well, yeah, it's it's awkward, but I guess the huh? implication. Yeah, no, you can't jump if you're touching anything. No. It like really freaks out his like. I physics. think I. I guess this guy's broken into the room. Was the implication? Yeah, I think he was like trying to listen in on you or something. Well, they didn't really convey that because the cutscene oh, was no. so abrupt. Yeah, they they did a bad job. Oh. Why? Sp the... Speaking of, <laughs> that wall was short enough. You could have just jumped and grabbed the ledge. You didn't need a. I'm assuming he went this way. Yeah, just doing this by uh, gut instinct at this point. Ah, <laughs> uh, he left a checkpoint here. I must be going the right way. Where did he go? Oh, he stole the gold dagger, I guess? Or no, they didn't have the gold daggers at this point. They left them behind. Thank God he dropped the knife, because you couldn't have so, a knife in a melee fight. Couldn't up the so, stakes here, I think. Uh, so while we're uh, doing this, um, apparently uh, they just announced Virtual Fighter Five is coming to Steam. Oh hell yes! Uh, a new version of it called Virtual Fighter Five Revo. Which how many bespoke versions of Virtual Fighter <laughs> Five are there now? Down. Yeah, just make a new Virtual Fighter already. It's the one fighting yeah. game I actually fucking like. I I think they did announce they're making a new Virtua Fighter. They said that the last time when they came out with the first, uh, that fucking the, PS5, PS4 yeah, version. The, the, yeah, the ultimate PS4 one, yeah. No, I mean, like, very recently. Unless this is what they meant. Unless they meant, I, we're making a new Virtua Fighter. It's uh, First Fighter 5 again, but Steam version. I mean, are they updating the console one as well? Or is I, that going to be separate? Know. Or are they just renaming it? For funsies? It says this is the ultimate version of the game. <laughs> Forget ultimate showdown. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> well, it, I mean, it has rollback now, so. Oh, you know what, then? I mean, I'll probably buy it. Don't know when it comes out. just says coming yeah. soon. Gonna have to I brush up on my Sarah Ryan to... gameplay. I am curious if this is coming to PlayStation 4, <laughs> which uh, would just mean that... <laughs> maybe 5. I feel like with some of those games getting rolled back, they tend to only put them in the, the current gen versions. Does this have multiplayer? <laughs> On Earth? <'Cause>, yeah. <laughs> Go to hell. Just getting a rollback patch for multiplayer fisticuffs. From me. I said talk, or I will... No, you didn't. You didn't say talk. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> you just grabbed him by the throat. Morris, are you all right? The attacker was killed by a sniper before I could find out anything. The diaries are not with him. He probably handed them over to someone else. Okay, they stole the diaries. This doesn't look good. I guess. Find your way out of there fast, but don't engage any of them. <laughs> sure. How about I just put on my invisibility cloak? That should make things easier. Do we have one? Press right bumper to put on your invisibility cloak. <laughs> this is anyway, a... I I Go ahead. just double checked. Uh, so far, the only thing, nice stance, the only thing announced is the Steam version. Mm -hmm. So, this is a, a minor thing, but something that I'm not a fan of with this guy's design is these sunglasses on his head that have just been there the entire time that he doesn't use. Oh, there's collectible. I gotta figure that out. I, you know, like it's because it's. It means that it's a part of his design, not for function. He just does it because he thinks it looks cool. It's just taking mm -hmm. to his head. Mmm, donuts. 
<laughs> I like they yeah they started from the back where it just looked All like right. a donut or a Japanese coin. So which way are we going? Does the is the up on the D pad gonna tell us anything? No. Oh weird. Listen, don't don't engage the police. Whatever you do, uh, oh, that was engaging the police. What was that noise? I think it was a dude yelling was... at us, but very blown out. Yeah. Uh, can we hear that again? Yeah, I think we can. Uh, who are that? <laughs> <laughs> like a hundred times they louder were... than anything else in the game. Oh. They recorded that by like going out into the street, breaking a window, and holding a microphone <laughs> up, <laughs> waiting for an actual cop to yell at them. <laughs> That's the, that's the authenticity that uh, Semaphore brings to the table. Okay, so what do you want me to do, game? I can't jump. I can't okay, sprint. you cannot jump. All right. Oh, I can't go that way because there's a dude looking in that direction. Did you keep your donut? Yes, I kept the donut. That way? Just... Oh. Ah. Well... Pure luck on my part. Stuff like this is reminder that the the discourse around yellow paint is just not worth it. Because yeah. this is the alternative. He's just stumbling around in the dark. Thank God that guy down there is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God our <laughs> our knees are made of steel. Layer that grunt noise five <laughs> times on top of itself. <laughs> Actually, I'd argue your, your, your knees are not uh, built very well for the, how much damage that did. Yeah, you jump down and you stand there and you just think, I'm going to die. <sighs> Congratulations on completing that chapter. Thank you. Now what? Okay, I just saw you. Go to the park and head right. We'll be in Rashid's car. It's red. Hurry! <laughs> Well, that seemed highly unnecessary. Red, red and blue on the top of the car, right? I'll get in. No, 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 no! Uh, oh, oh, my legs. What, did he get hit by the bus? Like, what is Delayed it? reaction from that fall from earlier. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh boy. Wait, who are these people in the car with you? Uh, oh, the I professor guess I... and uh, our sister. Oh. Objective, Objective, avoid hitting the police cars. I mean, you oh. could just sit, well... Failed. Oh, okay. Let's see. We gotta see the. Oh, uh, do we have angles. cinematic camera? <laughs> yes. Yes. We are in trouble. What do you mean we? It's my car. The police are chasing. What do we do now? Try to get away from the police. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because the police only arrest the person who owns the car when you get in a car chase. <laughs> oh, did that car just spawn in right there? Did you see that? Uh, I have to keep an eye out. Oh, these police are lousy drivers. It's also kind of messed up to say, oh, you don't don't hit the police cars, but <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing I've, them pop in. It might be a translation thing. They might have meant, like, avoid the police. Probably, and it yeah. got translated into... Because you got no problem running over a car. Which they don't really show often in movies, but, like, that dents I, the shit out of a car to do that. I'm, try I'm trying to tell... It's high speed pursuit. I'm trying to figure out if that thing in the upper right is like your car's health or like a detection is a car's health. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but the the I icon looks like an eye. The other thing. Oh, okay, it's supposed to be a speedometer. This is as fast as I think we can go. Let's let's hit it straight away. A little late for the horn on Ooh. that one. <laughs> fun, fun horn though. <laughs> oh boy. That was like a whoop whoop, but not the sound of the police. Uh, yeah, good. Oh, Give yeah. me the pain spray. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was trying. I was hoping. This is an attempt at a high speed chase. Yeah. Not a uh, not a successful one, but it is an attempt. Hey, we got we got a uh, we got the uh, cosmetic damage though. Eat your heart out, Gran Turismo. Is there any specific direction this, this we should be heading? The soundtrack makes it sound like someone's trying to do ASMR in my left ear. Where exactly? Oh yeah, what is that? Driving license, young man. Good question. I don't have a driving license. Oh. Oh, it's good we got that up. They grazed the back of the car. You see, they, they, yeah, they grazed yeah. the back bumper, and that's what did us in. 
like right, in a TikTok. fighting game where the last hit is like someone just kind of like kicks you in the toe and you're like, oh, that's my entire life. <laughs> Is Saudi Arabia a drive on the right side of the road or left side of the road country? Well, you're in the left-hand side, so I assume it's like America. Yeah, what must be. We? It's my car the police are chasing. What do we do now? Try to get away from the police for as long as you can. Just tell us, like, what. give us a direction to head. And see if you can help us leave the city once we are safe. To say, like, head north. And this then, like... is... Cr yeah, I want to see you keep going in one direction. Cause it looks yeah. like this route's quite big. Unless it's just some... Keep, just keep driving in places you haven't been yet and can, like, let you just keep going. Yeah. Maybe it's like Pac-Man or Devil World. And just yeah, yeah. Devil Warp. Itself. Yeah, when we hit the sides. It's 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 pretty... Okay, I can see... I think I saw where it loaded the chunk in again, but it's not, it's not that noticeable. That it's, like, looping this... Oh, it absolutely is. Yep. How many times have we passed by this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then there's a yeah, garden-looking area on the uh, left the here. The old yep. Scooby-Doo style chase. Yeah. <laughs> this car chase has a real Hanna-Barbera vibe to it. It's not something you want to hear as a game developer yeah. in the year 2013. <laughs> <laughs> I've this, if this section was shorter, they would have gone away with it. Remember that episode of the Flintstones where, like, they got into a high-speed chase that went on for, like, three episodes? <laughs> An early experiment in uh, cartoon continuity, but... How did we trigger the voice line before? What what direction did we go in that... Um, uh, I think you triggered the voice line because you kept fucking up your car. <laughs> yeah, that's not be my it, car. Yeah. Joke's on you. What if you hit up on the D-pad? Nothing. Okay. But boy, they sure had that mechanic for one puzzle <laughs> and then never <laughs> use it again. I mean, it's an idea. I feel like... Where exactly did you get your driving license, young man? Honestly, this might be a time thing. This might literally be survive. Driving license. Could... Oh, it's good we got that out of the way, then. Because he did say avoid the police until, like, he can contact my friend, friend tells us. Yeah. yeah. Feel feel like they could have... <laughs> done anything Design different wise. here. Yeah. Well, just ended this now. I feel like they could have designed something <laughs> for yep. this. You have to keep keep driving until the police run out of fuel for their cars. <laughs> Luckily, we have an economy vehicle. Take that, coppers. Oh, well, okay. I guess that was it. It, it, was, yeah. it was time. Yeah. Speaking of time. That was a chapter. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, never mind. <laughs> None idea. of these people are buckled our, up, and I don't like our that. Our protagonist is really tiny, though. Like but now the, the scale of how how much room he has in the back of the car really Luckily, sells the disguise. About a week ago, it's in the glove compartment. I wonder. I wonder how tall he actually is. Nice. Did you read them by any chance? Yes, of course. Uh, Ibn Juze kept. The I made a copy of it. Did you read it? No, I did a blind. <laughs> this mountains. Even detailed the exact location. Then that's where we'll find the guy who stole the diaries. How can you be so sure it's only one guy? Your sister is right, Faris. We better be prepared. Dark, cursed, and valuable thing. Here we come. All right, here we go. Oh my god, the car was just going forward! Uh, Did you see that? The car wasn't turning at all. It was headed directly for that wall. It was. It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they cut it. They cut it before anything fun could happen, though. <laughs> Come on, just, that's why there's not a sequel. <laughs> Shores of my home. To see with my eyes what I have seen. Wait, is this live action? Yeah. Stock footage. Team Ninja. Are we about to switch, like, to, to play as Ibn was, Batuta or whoever? Was was Unearth 2, like, a made-for-TV movie? Is that why? Like, we were looking in the wrong place for the sequel. I'm... Oh, God, I'm almost expecting this to be one of those, like, 
tourist, uh, like, move, you know, like, come to Morocco. You, you, you probably don't need a tourist. Like, it looks like they're in Mecca. You probably don't need a tourist video for oh, Mecca. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm so confused. On Earth. It's in that cave over there. The stakes are getting higher. This place is a military <laughs> fortress. <laughs> oh, come on. It's in every corner. <laughs> you need to sneak in unnoticed. We're outnumbered and outgunned. Oh, my God. And it all leads up. We're so close. I can feel it. To the most shocking find of the Middle Ages. They just gave up on modeling anything. Watch out! Unearthed, Trail of Ibn Battuta, Episode 2, coming soon. Stay tuned at unearthedgame.com. Oh, I'm staying tuned. I'm... F uh, excuse me, it's X now? <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to update that. Yeah, They'll put yeah, out an update for the game, game that just changes that. <laughs> well, yeah, if they just put out a patch right now, they just change that to X or Blue Sky. Uh, I would hit my screen, but uh, it would pause the credits and probably break them, so we'll have to. Oh! Ibn Battuta dream sequence, courtesy of the movie Journey to Mecca in the footsteps of Ibn Battuta. So they just took it from a movie. They just licensed so it that... out from a movie. All right, so that explains what the option on the main menu We have to find the answer by was. ourselves. Say something nice. Uh, I believe we'll probably get to that very shortly when we wrap up. That's your something nice? <laughs> is that we'll get no, to the trailer? <laughs> no, no, my something nice is going to be when we talk about the game. Oh, wrap sure. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to see, speak look, nicely of this game. What's Troy Baker doing there? <laughs> Moral support. This is so also, cute. Zombie zombies. Also, I'm not sure if Tara, oh, you know what? If Tara Survival Plat mode. was anyone in yeah. this. Tara Platt is also like a Universally very famous... Speaking voiceover actress yeah she gets gigs yeah but i don't remember seeing her name in like the the opening credits no no they're holding those people they had to record their lines they you know in anticipation of episode two so uh you know like i said at the top of the show 20 more years let me double check behind the voice actors oh yeah she's the protagonist in dragon guard 3 2014 i thought there was like actually way earlier than that <laughs> no you have unlocked yep. tiniest font in the universe. You have unlocked survival mode. You can access it from the main menu. We got to see that. <laughs> but, but, yeah. yes. Spoilers behind the voice actors does not have this game on Tara Platt's uh, profile. All right. So first of all, yeah. Yeah. the screen. It didn't take much to win that this one, no. but uh... <laughs> all right, I guess. Uh... All right, say something nice first, and then I will get to... Hey, why don't you say something nice? Yeah, and one who played, and that is the unofficial rules yeah, yeah. I'm trying to establish. Uh, I think it's cute to have a brother-sister team in a game like this, uh, rather than just, like, you know, dude and his generic dude and his generic love interest. It's fun to have a little sibling angle to it. I would have been curious where they went with that as the, uh, the narrative continued. I guess we'll never fucking know. Uh, I, I believe the Squeakle game to this, uh, they announced in April 2018, uh, it was to be titled Al Rakaz. Uh, it was going to be built from the ground up using Unreal Engine 4, according to the presser. Uh, there's been absolutely no updates on that, uh, in the years since. So I'm just assuming this story is dead in the water. Uh, the studio is, is not doing much of anything <laughs> at this point. Let's look at the treasures um, we collected. Fun. So I was so someone in the chat was asking, like, oh, um, what would the launch price price be? And I was trying to find it. Um, I wasn't able to find that. The game currently might be like 50 cents. Apparently, it's if this is accurate, they have it as in English, 59 pence. Uh, but it does have a bunch of avatars you could buy for your PlayStation Network account, which includes characters we did not see. This is a sick bong, by the way. Uh, it, also, I like how it says uh, to, to go between the different treasures, press left and right on the D-pad. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's uh, left bumper, right bumper. <laughs> so, I... <laughs> uh, I bet that concept art's also uh, in the game because they have so many... Yeah, character gallery. 
You know what? I'm not even sure if this game is on the US PlayStation Network anymore. Not anymore. I tried looking it up to get the uh, icon for it. The PlayStation but Store But it might icon. be... But it might be on the PAL one. Hmm. But yeah, for some reason, there are avatars you can buy of a character called Quinton. And... Oh, these are all the characters that uh, show up here. Yeah, Vitaly. Vitaly Frasacci? Film director? I don't know. He... <laughs> I do not have a second name on the, this avatar you could buy off Let's look at PlayStation renders. Network. Great, that's definitely a render. So is that, and that, and... Yep, that's him. That's Vitaly, apparently. I wonder if that's Troy Baker. Maybe this and is this Troy is, Baker. This is Quinn 10. Not Quinton, Quinn 10. Not Quinn 9, Quinn 10. That, yep, that's how it's spelled. <laughs> Uh, storyboards, concept art. I want. To, I guess I do want to see the concept art. The same renders for Wireframe. <laughs> oh come on, that's cheating. You can't just have that. That that, that looks like Mortal Kombat uh, Deadly Alliance concept art. Why is all the concept art of just this one dude? And why are, like, so many of them just different, like, lighting passes and different textures applied to his? What they, a waste of this was just, section. This was just one guy who really wanted to, like, model his cool macho guy. Oh, hi. And then someone saw that and was like, let's make a game around this. Uh, uh, not starring him, though. He'll be, like, an enemy. Yeah, Os you have to Oscar's beat the game on hard to unlock the animatics. Os Oscar's the key to all this. I'll see this Journey to Mecha trailer at the very least. Yeah. Tell me of your dream. I think we're going to get copyright for this. Oh, we probably are, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I... All right, sorry, folks. If you want to see this trailer, get the game for oh, yourself. Oh, yeah. Public domain <laughs> eagle sound, though. <laughs> if you want to watch really the trailer, I'm sure it's not on YouTube. I'm sure there's nowhere else you can find the trailer except an unearthed trail of him, Batuta. Survival mode. Check those leaderboards. Amazed these still load up. Doesn't it, and hmm. doesn't look like someone's cheated them because when they're cheated, you tend to see like whole numbers and like hitting the upper limit of what the game can track. So I guess no one decided to cheat them. Six maps here. To do one that looks like we were never there. Well, we were at the office at the beginning, technically. Yeah. The dark, the dark jungle. jungle. We're never in a dark jungle. Huh. Who? <laughs> oh, that's there. There's there's Troy Baker. And here's that guy from Lost. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Go scroll through those guys again. There's one guy. One guy I want to see. That looks like Professor Metro. Or <laughs> Professor Intro. <laughs> no. Some of these legit look like unfinished models that were probably going to be something in the later games. This straight up looks like a PS2 model. It's from the poly count, yeah. the way the texture for the hair blends seamlessly into... Maria? Uh, I thought you were Maria. Want to play as her. And if anywhere's going to have the zombies, it's going to be here. Well, they weren't lying. Yep. Whoa! Oh, well, there we go. Hell of an animation they... on them. What are they wearing? It's very, really dark. Well, yeah, it, yeah. we did pick the dark jungle. I mean, it is the so. dark jungle, yeah. Okay, they're wearing like a two-piece. Well, oh, uh, I thought those I thought those flowers were spinning, but no, it's just the wind animation looks very weird. Oh, I like they're all lined up. Makes them all the easier to shoot. What's it? The dick? What's it called? The Dixie Train? Is that the the dance where you hold on the shoulders and walk in a line? At the conga? Uh, there's a, yeah, it's like the conga, but it's got a slightly different name. Yeah, the way the foliage moves is very strange looking. Well, everything in this game is strange looking. Uh, Do you think this... Oh, get back to the combat zone. <laughs> it was so clearly delineated. This... How could I have watered well, out of it? The way that font looks, I bet that's not even like a graphic. That is just plain text in the game. Do you think that uh, this has the same, like, progression secrets as zombies in Call of Duty? 
Like, you're going to have to go to one of these trees and, like, hit the use button five times to unlock a monkey oh, surely, a symbol yes. that'll drop down. And Speaking of PlayStation 2 ass models. Yeah, they did say they came from a completely different, like, uh, team that made the zombie models in the credits, right? They didn't mention that. I remember they had a voice actor credit for zombies. Oh, maybe that's it. <laughs> you know, zombies aren't maybe, the brightest, so... Maybe this is Troy Baker. <laughs> in the most use of that. If, like, with, with, with the budget you're offering me, uh, I can give you some Tasmanian devil noises. Because here's the thing. It, it might sound like BS, but even at the height where Troy Baker was doing really big stuff... He was still doing stuff like the Men in Black 3 movie game. Which is like the most low budget license thing I think I've ever seen. For Don't like forget you have grenades. Out, like coming out on disc. It's like, yeah, even, even when like Troy Baker was at the height of like uh, dense, not density, but you like he was in everything. And not just him, like a lot of those like actors that were in everything at the time were still doing... Like, Still either uncredited paid. roles, or these, like, projects that clearly probably paid, like, a hundred bucks for the entire game. People gotta eat. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's not that unbelievable he would do something like this, but... <laughs> this is a truly wretched zombie mode, by the way, in case yeah. it wasn't self-evident. Just from looking at it. I mean, we played zombies on uh, Black Ops 6 recently, how would you compare? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, at least this is more so was, straightforward. Isn't yeah. layered in, in layers of bullshit. Like if if we you know if we hadn't gone through the main game, you would you would have assumed this was some like Steam asset flip. Who's to say this part isn't? Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, essentially is. But like there are there are games on Steam that are just this. Mm, yeah, I've played some of them. <laughs> I've played my share as well. Maybe this is a preview of the second game. Look at her stance. I think this is what happens. What is she holding on to with her left hand? Almost like this character model is not meant to hold on to weapons or something. <laughs> is this as good an opportunity as any to talk about uh, opinions on the game, to share our thoughts and so forth? Uh, do we want to do it here, or do we want to do it on our epilogue screen? I mean, I guess we can get started now. <laughs> Nothing's going to kill me here, I feel yeah. like. You know, let, let's switch levels, at the very least. Yeah, yeah. something that's a little nicer to look at. I wonder if they're all zombies. <laughs> at, at, okay, so I'll, I'll start. At times, I thought this did actually do a decent job at replicating what Uncharted did in terms of some of the scale trying to do the multiple uh you know like game parts having a platforming bit look at this, this fucking model. guy having you know the, the mo I, I was actually surprised how many locations there were being this was episode one and wow, there were this... so many different bespoke locations and a lot of you know and, and i do think visually for a downloadable title by like a non-development studio there, there are some nice parts to it, but it's just... I it, I can't imagine playing it. <laughs> it's very fun. It looks like Finn's barely work. I know I've criticized games for look uh, for people for saying that games look like PS2 games. This dude looks like he is straight out of a PS2 yes. game. <laughs> I'm, I just, I'm just having a hard time getting over that yeah. right now. I'm sorry. Different zombie Is there models, any the, that, like... That, like um... The way the light reflects off the model looks like those early PlayStation 2 to 360 ports. Oh, where yeah. It looked like it was like wrapped in saran wrap. I'm going to safely assume, though, that this was uh, not the mode that they were expecting people to gravitate to. Even no, if I it think it is. Board. I think it is because they think they, they realized the shit was hot and this would be the replay value of the game, if any. And they put six stages into it, so I think they did put effort into this. Maybe not into the right parts well, of it, the, but... They, they put six stages, but it seemed like four or five of them were just the places you've already been. Oh, the baby stroller's still there. This is gonna seem mean, but... Okay, so here... Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> My timing was a little off on uh, that. So I think this game 
is fairly impressive for what it is. For fairly or barely? What I assume to be. <laughs> fairly, fairly, with an F. Uh, you know, I mean, we're not looking at a triple A studio game. We're not looking at a double A studio game. We're not looking at you said a this studio is game. Mainly like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, a studio game. No, you said this is like uh, Semaphore was like an education thing, right? Well, Seminor was. Uh, Seminor. He made like e learnings. So I just have to imagine that, you know, Semaphore, the developer end of it, mm -hmm. th this branch was probably staffed by people yeah. who were not game developers, but were yeah. like probably learning. This is probably like right. an it, experiment. It feels like, yeah. it seems, yeah, an experiment. It seems like they were punching above their weight, and I, you know, I commend them for it. I don't think it turned, at least looking at it, I, I don't think it turned out that bad for what could it, could have been an experiment. In fact, like the way this game was structured, which this is to say a, a greatest hits of how uncharted plays it hits uh, all the notes you would I, expect yeah. yeah yeah this it feels like like a pilot episode almost it feels like, like a proof of like, concept mm -hmm. yeah a proof of concept yeah. good yeah like they could present this people like hey this is the kind of thing we want to make this is like the uh the good bullet holes this <laughs> is <laughs> Like, we can make these set pieces, we can have all these different, like, uh, modes of gameplay, chases, puzzle solving, all this stuff. And we have a setup for a sequel, you know, for any investors who want to come in and, you know, fund a bigger version of this. And I don't think they did a bad job of it, it looks like. I mean, it's it's a little rough, Oh yeah. clearly. Yeah. They shouldn't but, have released um, it, if that was the case, if that was an scenario. They probably shouldn't have released it with episode one in the title. Very presumptive of them. And also, they had to have known, like, if it was coming in, like, if it was a low-budget affair, uh, uh, the nature that it is. And and they saw, like, the response to it. They saw how much it was savaged. And and their response to that was, well, let's put out a gold edition. Let, let's re-release it again. Because that's what happened. And that's what, like, makes the story yeah. that much more interesting. What, like, you know, detracts from my theories about it is the fact that, you know, I would assume a game like this would not be made with financial incentive is the first and foremost thing, right? Yeah, I would assume a game like this is released with the intention of just, like, being a proof of concept, being something they would pitch, being something they would shop around, and, you know, or failing a, to get picked up, okay. maybe they put or it out. a passion like, project, perhaps. Like, a, pa a passion of the studio. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't know the backstory. Yeah, sure. the re-release re makes me think that it was genuinely to try and get more sales to fund something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably right about that. That yeah, it was like, probably like, like the, the, you know, like the the having an episode two was pretty much ninety percent based on hitting the cells that would have either gotten them the money or shown to an investor group of yeah. like, oh, this makes money, so you should invest, kind of thing. But they like, had to know that approach... wasn't going to happen when the initial release of it was so savaged. You, and I if mean, they thought this was missed... good enough, if they thought these yeah. were the improvements they you... needed to make, I, I will say you I do think a... those reviews might be too harsh. Because for I've I, seen a lot worse attempts to ape like a, yeah. a really popular game or genre, uh -huh. especially from studios that have absolutely no experience, and having no experience, like again, like it, it I, looks I, rough in places. The animation is very janky, and you can tell yeah. how little budget they had at times. But like, it's it's very competent at times. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I would say you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, right? Like, mm. if, they, if they felt like they could try and improve it a bit with Gold Edition and iterate on it, like, you know, maybe it doesn't turn out, but, you know, they could try if they really kind of believed in this. And you, you could approach this cynically if you want. You could approach anything cynically. And you could approach this cynically if you wanted to. Probably really easily approach this very cynically. But I kind of want to give them some benefit of the doubt that maybe they actually believed in this as a project. I don't, yeah. I don't think they would have made <laughs> a gold edition if they didn't belief. believe it. Yeah. To say like as, I mean, sh sure, but <laughs> yeah, I can... I know. I can <laughs> maybe it's a misguided, but I can appreciate, yeah. you know, the want to to make it happen and the yeah. effort it takes to, you know, do that. Because it is very unoriginal. As, yeah. as someone who's played, like, pretty much every Uncharted game apart from the, the spin-off one and the Vita one, like they are not like copying scenes for scenes, but they're hitting the same kind of like marks that an Uncharted game would, just in kind of a shorter time frame. Yeah, it's a very it is so on the nose. Yeah. The way the protagonist is written as well is you can tell that the 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 mandate, the design doc was just Nathan Drake. Yeah, just give us a Nathan Drake. But yeah. I, I 
It doesn't come off as, as cynical as that sounds, though. Yeah. That's the funny thing. There, There is an earnestness to it. Mm. I, I would say part of it could be, uh, you know, also the fact that it is a game out of Saudi Arabia. It takes, it has, it takes place in the Middle East with, you know, Middle Eastern history as a part of it. And it's like a, you know, uh, a matter of, you know, there you go. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? National what's the pride. What's most nonsense? Or... Yeah, something like that. Maybe we'll... They, they wanted yeah, to have it's, something it's to call their pride. own. They wanted to have their own yeah, version yeah. of it that would appeal to people in, in that market. Yeah. 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 I and, think that's know, all fair. So yeah. It, yeah, and even if you can call it, like, derivative, it's, like, it's still something that at least in, uh, you know, the surrounding content is something that they can call their own. I, I, I'm still trying to gather thoughts on it to certain, some extent. I'll let us talk. The words will come out. Uh, is what I gotta put my faith in. I, I don't. I'm like I'm being like you know critical of it because I I don't know what price this released for. Uh, I, I doubt it was a full I, price release. I I would have to say it probably wasn't. And if it was, then you know like my criticisms are more if, well founded. I think. Like if I had a Steam DB account, I could actually look at. The yeah, it's like the deeper price page history. for it. But you know, yeah. this was released for like 19.99 tops, which would still be too much for what this is. Ultimately, like how much content is on offer. Oh. Okay, I, I did find it. Apparently, when it launched on Steam, it was five dollars. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I've, I'm yeah. unable to find the PS3, the, the title PSN art. release. Yeah. yeah, could have also been five dollars, but yeah. Uh, okay, so bearing that in mind, uh, and you know what this game oh, amounts to. I, I do, I do have something to mention quickly here. The Gold Edition does have changes. Well, yeah, it, it was meant to improve on the state yeah. of the game. Yeah, it has a it... uh, restructured tutorial level for better introduction mechanics. No more colliding with ragdolls and small objects such as broken pop pieces. Um, invisible no more sound effects to... when you shoot. Invisible, wa yeah. invisible walls to prevent falling from high places. Ah. So that's, oh, why that's a we feature. Can... <laughs> yeah. And they also re-recorded all the Arabic voiceover to remove the echo. Oh. The hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> combat was revamped. Uh, much improved, clearly. Balanced. No, I don't know about no. the um, like, <laughs> the like blind I firing. Like I said earlier, and the, I don't and think the you driving put that, as well. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I don't think you put that much work into a project like this if you didn't believe in it. You, even if they were wrong about, you know, ultimately wrong about uh, a gold edition like picking up enough sales to like fund a sequel or anything like that. Maybe that wasn't even the goal. Maybe they just were. Maybe they actually just did want to make the better version of the game they put out. Sorry. I just found out, according to this uh, Unity discussion page, that the P PlayStation 3 version has optional PlayStation Move support. Ooh. To what end? And I, I kind of want to find out. You, okay. you put one... You tie one PlayStation Move to your hand for punch and one to your foot for kick. That would make sense. I'd buy that for $5. Okay. Let's exit out of this. I think I've seen all there is to see of the survival mode. You could probably conceivably keep that going forever if, if you were so inclined. Uh, but I don't feel like keeping that going on forever. I feel like uh, closing out of this. Uh, exit. There we go. All right. And on that note, let's cut to our epilogue screen. And I'll, I'll try to finally put some thoughts together. I was stalling for time there. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Uh, <laughs> it's, I appreciate, I can respect, like I said at the top of the episode, that they put something out. I think the episode one really irks me that they did something so presumptive with that. Uh, I think that's I, putting I feel the like... cart before the horse. I feel like in 2014 and around that era, like everyone was doing that as well. Sun the Hedgehog Four was it. doing it. Me, me, and Johnny yeah. were talking about yeah. this before you, uh, you, before you got on the call, actually about the era of episodic games. I think that was a bad era. I think it was a bad model. Uh, I, I think it was. <laughs> it, it, it. I mean, there's a there's a possibility that the reason it's like that is because it was such a short thing that you know maybe it was short because of like time or budget or something like that that they couldn't make like a full 
the full scope of what they wanted to make, and they're like, well, let's do what we have. Let's do what we can do right now and call it episode one, because we know that this isn't the full thing that we want to make. Sure, and by the end of it, they were just pulling, like, clips from fucking movies and stock footage and stuff, which, you know, definitely speaks to them running out of time and or money and or yeah. uh, patience or interest, even. I, a lot of it is unknown, to be sure. You want to believe the best. You want to believe mm -hmm. that they believed in this to some extent, in some capacity. I, I feel like a lot of the effort was misplaced in it, which is always going to be the case, or very often will be the case, with, with amateur products, where they'll never necessarily... Where, where they're, they're, so, they're so preoccupied with trying to, like, cram as much stuff as they can, and, like, this is, like, vertical slice the game, right? Between the driving level, the behind-the-back, like, when you're sitting on the ATV, the, yeah. the, the platforming, the shooting... We're, we're saying, like, like... Controlling a, an RC car... Like, we were saying, yeah, like, it was, proof of concept, a pilot episode, all that. Yeah, yeah like, it's like was mentioned earlier. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of different variety for something that is one episode, which probably speaks to that this wasn't the plan, and then they run out of money, and it's like, well, we we need to sell something to hopefully generate money to fund it, and then, you know, it didn't happen for I, them. I just think that they would have been better served really, like, honing in on one aspect. That I, I'd be yeah, yeah. more won't to forgive it if they had just really I, tightened up the shooting. I I was going to say, I, just watching it, the shooting looked like the, the worst part of it. No, the fighting was the worst part. I, I think oh, the thing enough, is, yeah. I think the thing is, if they wanted to make their own Uncharted, if that, you know, which is, I mean, pretty clearly the goal is they wanted to make their own Uncharted, you can't have an Uncharted that only focuses on one thing because Uncharted is not focused on one thing. That is like... One of the defining things of Uncharted it is that it is many, many, many things crammed together. And yeah, they're, I get, that's why I said like they were punching way above their weight when trying to do this. And I can appreciate that ambition, to be sure. But I, I'm just thinking from my, my perspective is always what went wrong and what could be fixed. My, my armchair thing is the way I like play armchair developer is just looking at the final product and then realizing we are coming to like, when could someone have intervened and fixed this? What would have been the moment where they could have steered this back on course? And what would that right course look like? And in the case of this game, despite what those ambitions may be and in trying to demonstrate that we could do all these different things, just do something, take pick one or two lanes and just really drive in, hone in on tightening those. You can allude to things you'll do later. If you're going to go with the episodic approach or with the, this is just the beginning of this story, uh, you you can say like, you know, and here's what we want to do. You can have like a cutscene at the end. They had their small handful of FMV cutscenes here. They, they could have just mocked up. Here's what we want to do. Here's what a driving section might look like uh, I, if we get the I, means and opportunity to, pr to produce that. I, I think if they want to present themselves as being capable of making an Uncharted, of making their own Uncharted, then they sort of have to present, like, all their, you know, they, they have to show their hand up front. Like, like they, you can do this, you can do this. Like, we are capable, you know, to whatever measure they are capable of doing it, that we are capable of, you know, having these things and doing these things, like, because it's a vertical slice, right? Well, the problem is that they're not, though. The problem is that they weren't capable of it. The problem is that all these things I mean, fell yeah, completely uh, short, again, and, and that's more damaging. To... That is more harmful. Yeah. I get where you're coming from, and I get mm -hmm. what you're trying to say that they tried to do here, and I'm yeah. saying it was a wrong-headed approach. I'm saying that I... you are better off not incorporating those things and spreading yourself so thin because on some level during development, the people behind the game had to be aware that these things were very uneven in the way they're implemented, that some things were stronger than others, some things were piss poor. And like, to be clear, and you know, we're, we're treating them almost with a kid gloves here because I'm sure we have this idea in our heads that, you know, like, oh, it's one of the few games that come out of Saudi Arabia. I just want to point out that, uh, IGN Middle East, there was a specific Middle East division of IGN that, you know, would have probably given them the benefit of the doubt. They gave it a 3 out of 10. There was a website yeah. called Saudi Gamer that gave it a 1 out of 5 that even within its home country, people were looking at this and saying it was subpar. Even people yeah. who would have yeah, wanted this that's... would have rooted for this to succeed and wanted to give it the benefit I mean, of the okay. doubt. They would see these parts and I be want, like, this is fucking I rough do, I want to be... 
I want to be clear that I'm not saying, and that's why this game is secretly good. <laughs> it's like, no, like, I think we we have established through playing it that it is, it, for what everything it's trying to do, it is trying it and not pulling it off, and it is, in that respect, subpar. Uh, to my, and, you know, the reviews reflected, they, you know, people didn't like it, and yeah. They had a reason not to like it. Yeah. For, for, it's, for where I'm approaching it from is that I just very much appreciate it. Like, I appreciate, like, e even if someone, like, shoots for the moon and, like, just blows up on the launch pad. At least like, they try. I still really, yeah, I really appreciate people who try. Like, I would be far, far, far less interested in this game if they only focused on one or two things. Yeah. Like, maybe it would have been a better, maybe it would have been a better game. Yes. Yeah, true. Probably would have been. Yeah. But it's, I think it would have been a more forgettable game. Yeah. It's, For it's our still purposes, speculation. It's great. Yeah. 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 It's still speculation, but just the way this game feels, the amount of updates this PC version has, I, I do get the impression that this was not supposed to be episodic. And just something like, I, you know, there's very pure speculation. This Did some funding fall through? Did investor pull out? Did they just... Over, over underestimate how much making a game of this kind of scale costs. It, it, it honestly feels had like, like they enough. Hit, yeah, but they hit some it had sort enough, of um, It had enough polish to it in terms of like what they were kind of, you know, all of the voice acting and yeah. like some of the stuff they were doing. That it it did seem like uh, they were they were putting their money into it, so they could have yeah. easily run out of money. Yeah, like the. The, the the like next episode part where they they had clips of the voice actors gives you the impression that voice actors had recorded a like far ahead into the story i, I actually did not get that impression from that it, it just seemed at well, that it, point they were pretty generic actually, lines that didn't like, address it might have been generic yeah. but there was it's just it was enough there that made me think like okay they're showing the voice acting but they're not showing any visuals to it and I know there are some cases where some parts of development are done way ahead of time, and obviously this is outsourced voice acting because it's not Middle Eastern actors doing it as well. Well, I mean, well, bear, bear in mind there were so many different localizations of it, so they yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yes. But I, I, from what I've looked up, I don't, I think there's only a few dubs in there. Like, there's a lot of subtitles, but I think there was only like two language, like voiceovers. Okay, that I, I would understand that. This English yeah. and uh, and yeah. Arabic, yeah, yeah. But it does come off as a game that, like, at some point, it's just like, okay, we can only polish this. We can't actually make a full game. And obviously, they didn't do a, a great job going by all those patch notes. So, yeah, like, if if this had been, from the start, designed to be a multi-episode thing, then, yeah, I would highly question that, because that's not the way to do a game like this, especially if you don't have guaranteed funding for the rest of it going, going forward, I unlike a lot of the episode stuff did at the time. Honestly, I think it's unfortunate that we would probably never know because I think there could be like an interesting story behind yeah, yeah. what they were trying to do with this game. But their plan was like, did they approach this episodic in mind? Like, what you know? What I, think, happened, I think I think we're forgetting. Think by the story. way, I think it's it is important to note here that the fact mm -hmm. they've tried to do like six follow up games and absolutely yeah. none of the materials. One of them was a battle yeah. royale. That it never came out. One yeah. of them is a direct sequel to this, which is never going to come out. Yeah, the thing, the thing I read about, there's some sort of like uh, Unreal 4 reboot of the. I don't even want to call it franchise, but they we even throw it to it as like, oh, it's a reboot. It's going to finally tell the story. And that got announced years ago, and there's not been any mention since. <laughs> I, I just think this is a studio. Yeah, this whole with game, that this whole game dev thing did not pan out for them. <laughs> yes. And, and to be clear, and, and to bring, I was going to get to, in touch on the point that you're making, Charky, which is that ultimately, yes, the way things turned out and panned out left up with something that was amusing. Uh, it was brief. Uh, it was charming. It, it was funny. Not necessarily fun to play, but uh, funny things happened during it. So in those ways, it's success for us. It's memorable for the fact that it is, it is so ambitious that it, it shot for the moon and blew up on the launch pad. And that is ultimately the kind of games you look out for. And all I really wanted to, like, you know, drive home was that, you know, it's the wrong approach. And that, you know, it, it's great for us that we get a game to talk over out of it. But, you know, I would have liked a world where this studio actually got to pursue their vision. Actually got to push this past the first episode or, or draw the story, tell the story they wanted to tell. 
if this was someone's dream. I, I want to encourage people to pursue their dreams in game development. I, I want people to, to commit and for people to commit dollars to that. And so I think it is a shame that this game has only resulted that this product is just a punchline now. That remembered by a few people for the fact, people who played it and, and received, you know, ironic joy from it or what have you. And, you know, that, that's fine. Also, it's better than being forgotten also, completely. Also, I want to be clear, though, that when I say, like, you know, I I appreciate this game for, like, trying what it did, even if it didn't, uh, you know, make it, I, I really do not mean that in any sort of, like, ironic way. Like, this, I'm not taking, like, an, I, I'm not appreciating this game on, like, an ironic level, that I, I really do, like, when, you know, people try, like, I don't want to see them fail. I, I definitely don't want, like, to say, like, oh, they crashed and burned. That's great. I love that. Like, no, I want to see people succeed. But uh, even if they don't succeed, unfortunately, I really appreciate it to see that they really tried, that they really went for it. Like, in, in, unfortunately, sometimes going for it is what leads to that failure if, you know, they underestimate uh, what they're capable of doing. And that's, you know, unfortunate. Yes. But uh, the, the finished product that is left behind I still really appreciate what they did. And, like, again, not on any sort of ironic level. Okay, like, that's fair. I, I think... I, 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 I just wanted you to clarify I, that, I guess. I wanted to make, yeah. make sure that you made that clear. And that that's completely fair. Uh, I, I I just, again, it, I, I appreciate it. on the For the ambition, I appreciate that we, we had some laughs along the way. You know, as, as much as, you know, I want them to succeed. If this is the product they were left, they left us with. If this was the best they were capable of, too, mind you. If this was their best foot forward and they put this out thinking that they had nailed it, if that was their perspective, then I think that makes it, you know, a, a, a comedy of errors, to be sure. But yeah, we're, we're talking in, we're, we're coming around to the same points here. We're saying the same things in different ways at this point. So that's usually the cue to wrap it up, uh, to, to bring the conclusion <laughs> section to a close. But I, I think it does, it's great that a game like this inspires conversation anyway. I, that inspires, not, I don't think we're heated at each other right now, but, you know, that we can debate whether, like, what the intentionality of this was. That we can have conversations where we try to drive to the core of, like, what they were aiming for here and what the failure was, how, where they fell off the mark, where they got off on the wrong track. Because these are things that interest me. These are the conversations probably that I want more to have than, about these games. Probably more than you could talk about, like, NBA Live 2014. Well, there's still a lot to say about that game, too, if we ever get to it. But that's a, yeah. whole, that's a whole other uh, can or it's a whole other uh, kettle of fish or whatever the uh, turns of phrase are. But yes, Trail of Ibn Battuta, Unearthed. Episode 1, I think I did all those out of sequence. I think I got that completely wrong, the order of words there, the order of uh, <laughs> phrases in the title. But something that, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to forget. And that, that counts for something. That, you know, I, I will certainly never forget this Uncharted ripoff in, in all of its glory and in all the effort that was put into it. And, and, you know, respect to the developers. And I hope that people who worked on this have the opportunity to continue in the industry. I do hope that people who contributed to this have continued in some capacity. Uh, and I hope they put something else out. I hope they get a chance to redeem themselves or to to redo this uh, as called for. It's a harsh industry and people don't always get those chances. Uh, but, you know, maybe, just maybe, maybe the seventh game they announce will be the one that they actually bring to fruition. And I'll, I, will, I will be there to play it. We will be there to report on it if need be or otherwise, you know, there to enjoy it. Uh, but thank you, folk at home, for sticking with us. For, for unearthing this trail of Imbatuta with us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show and then the, the conversation and the insight and so on and so forth. If you like what you saw here tonight, consider subscribing here on Twitch or pledging on Patreon or becoming a member on YouTube. All ways to financially support the show and gain access on our Discord server, which I'll hit them with the link to, uh, where you can join our Patreon Saints channel and vote on games that we play or make suggestions. This game that we played tonight, as mentioned earlier, was voted for by our patrons in that channel. Uh, we, we put it up with a number of other games we had uh, designs on playing. This is the one that won out. Uh, so we do hope that folk who voted for this enjoyed it, got what they uh, wanted out of it, got what they expected. Uh, and if you want to uh, vote on those things, that's the place where we're going to do it. That is the, the primary channel in which we, we air these things and put a vote to stuff. Uh, so please to consider 
joining that Discord and, and supporting us. If you can't financially support us, we completely understand. Uh, we just appreciate you sharing the videos with folk. Uh, we have a playlist on YouTube to that end. It's called Suggested Viewing. It has uh, videos that we've handpicked that we think make for good onboarding to the channel. That uh, we, we'd love it if those were the videos you shared. Or maybe you know someone who's a big Uncharted fan uh, who might get a kick out of looking at a game like this. Uh, whatever, you, you, we trust you to make those calls, dear viewers. Or, of course, just continuing to tune in is also a fine way to support our efforts here. We love it when folk show up for these things. Uh, upcoming stuff. Speaking, yeah, speaking of showing up, be sure to show up for uh, our upcoming streams. Uh, this Saturday, we'll be doing Painful Pinball. Uh, the three of us will be on deck for that one. Uh, sort of a eh, kind of history of video pinball games, at least the start of it. Um, coming Tuesday is going to be The Return of Fight Night, number seven, between me and Cass. Uh, and we then will get back in on those soon, by the way. We gotta make yeah. graphics for, for Ooh, Johnny yeah. here yeah. And, and get them set up so they can also fight in my stead. And then, uh, oh, you're not going to fight Johnny? I have to fight Johnny? No, I'm going to... I don't have the graphics <laughs> okay. prepared yet. I'm not going to have that stuff done <laughs> right. by tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, and Thursday is Thanksgiving. Uh, go eat. Go yeah, eat something. Eat and be have merry. Fun. We're taking we're, that day off. We're going to take off. And coming soon, we will be establishing, as, as mentioned before, a time slot uh, where Johnny over here will, will host mm -hmm. their own program, host, host their own block. Uh, we already have some designs and what games uh, that they're planning on playing at, at launch for that. Some series, some playthroughs. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be primarily targeted towards uh, European time zone, which uh, we we're hoping to find. We're going to settle on that time slot sooner rather than later. Okay. Uh, we'd really, uh, if you are a European in the audience, uh, whether on YouTube or Twitch, uh, please tune in to if, the Discord. If, please if, join the Discord and, and give some input on that. What time if you you're like. European. If you're a European in the audience, please find your way to the restroom. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, and we know that you love the show. You love to sit down and listen to everything we have to say. But please, think of yourselves first and foremost. Uh, but yes, we're, we're going to be working out the details of that. And we're, we're eagerly anticipating getting that launched and, and delivering on more content to the masses. Uh, is there anything else we need to announce? Anything else? I think that covers all the ground. I think uh, that covers yeah, I think so, yeah. All our so. usual post-show announcements, which means we have to uh, do a bit of a raid then, doesn't it? Huh. Well, I see uh, McCaw45 is playing the Adams Family Games Marathon, which Ooh. I'm sure will include Fester's Quest, among other uh, banger <laughs> games. I think they're playing Fester's Quest right there's, now. and There's more of them than you would think. <laughs> yeah, evidently. Apparently. So that's where we will send our viewers to. That is, uh, let them know we sent you, if and you don't mind. And, uh, yeah, should be should be a fun show to tune into. We hope we provided a fun show for y'all tonight. Uh, so thank you again for tuning in, folks. We have been the Bad Game Hall of Fame. I have been uh, your Indiana Cassidy. I've been your uh, cigar-smoking uh, biplane pilot, Charky. Uh, and I've been your Marky Mark turned video game movie adaptation actor of the stream, Johnny Baghead. Right, Marky Mark has been in more than one video game movie. He was Max Payne. <laughs> yeah. He was in that Uncharted movie. And yeah, I made it work somehow. He was Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Video game movies, they're back, huh? We're really dealing with the video game movies. Uh, how about that Borderlands, huh? We gotta do something with video game movies at some point. We gotta find some way to do produce content around that. That seems like a move we can do in future. Remind me about that. I'm gonna pencil that. Alright. But for it. now. But for now. Bye! Good night, everybody. Play the skaters.